Welcome to Zero Page Homebrew. We're back. Woo! Oh, I, it's I, like we never sorry left. Sorry about your ears there. Sorry. Ah! <laughs> Headphone users, R.I.P. Ah! <laughs> um, uh, this is where we play new games on classic consoles at 60, 60 frames a second. However you wanted there. 60. <laughs> and we're going to be playing some games today. Some new games. Some old games. And a world premiere of a brand new game that nobody's played but Ooh. me and Ooh. the programmer and Ooh. his friends, I'm guessing. That is exciting. It is. Uh, we're going to play three, maybe four games. Probably four games. We're going to be playing I Ran. Two words. Uh, 2019 world exclusive premiere Ooh. by VHZC. Or VHZC? Uh, Depends where you're from, but I think he says that. Um, and Cannon Head Clash, which is an updated name from the bomb game, I think it's called. We'll, we'll get to that. By Blue Swimmer, who has joined us in the chat. Welcome, Blue Swimmer. We're going to be uh, playing Crackpots uh, from Activision. This is a patch challenge, which we do on Fridays. Mm -hmm. Try and get the patches. Uh, and this is by our friend Dan Kitchen. And he said he would join us. And he is! There he is! Dan K is in the chat. Welcome. So he can give us hints. Because he made the game in 1983. And if everybody's good and we have time, I have a brand new build of Galaga slash Galagon for us to check out. And there's a whole bunch of updates to the two-player mode. Simultaneous ah. two-player mode. So okay. we're going to be testing that out nice. and see how it goes and give some feedback to John Champeau. Uh, I want to thank the uh, Twitch subscribers. Uh, Charles and Check, Ground Trooper, Johnny WC23, Mr. Fix, Muddy Funster, RC70, Retro Happy Hour, Sir Cat Legs, Spaztastic, Spartan581, Spiceware, The D Train37, Tiki Dan K, and Trek MD, and everybody who is in the chat today. Let's see who is joining us and is talking. Blue Swimmer, <laughs> Splendid Nut. Tiki Dan K, Mr. Fix, Pack Rat VG, Carl G. Oh, uh, that's a weapon. Is it? Which is? Carl G? It's, is a weapon? It's the largest man fired uh, anti tank weapon. Oh, and that's definitely what he's named largest. himself after? I can't say for sure that, <laughs> but that is what the. Uh, Interesting. Such a thing is. Uh, Repentless VG, uh, and Iceposta? I think I've got everyone that has typed something. Uh, Pack Ravigi, I said. Uh, I don't want to miss anyone. And you can subscribe for free um, as well, because I missed that before I went. Uh, you can subscribe for free uh, if you link your Amazon Prime to your Twitch Prime and click subscribe and support the show. Like a, a lot of the people that are subscribers watch the show. I guess that's not a big coincidence. <laughs> that they would be like, have, have a donation but I don't really like your show. <laughs> but they may watch later. I that guess. would be odd. Um, but if they're watching later on YouTube, so that doesn't make any sense either. I don't know. Um, so mail news and feedback. Um, the reason we were we're back and the reason we were away, uh, we're off for just under two weeks, two weeks minus a day, I guess, because you know. Last time we were on, you were here. I know and, that's what that's what I messaged you here. today. So we're doing the thing today, and <laughs> I was I was having vague phantom memories of whether or not it was it happening, right and and then yeah. you said yeah, and I was like oh, I guess they were phantom memories, but they were not. <laughs> actually, it isn't my today. It's a two week. It's actually yeah. two two Literally weeks two exactly. Weeks, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, because I was away in uh, Texas, which I've never been to before. It was very hot. Oh, yeah. Really, really hot. Uh, in Celsius, I apologize to Americans that I'm going to talk in Celsius. <laughs> um, How did you know what it was in Celsius? The phone. Uh, okay. Checking my phone, yeah. Um, it was about 37 to 38 degrees every day, Celsius. Um, that's over 100, 100 to 110 or something. I don't know. Uh, and it feels like, because it was humid... Oh, um, fairly humid, not mm. crazy like here, um, but feels even hotter. Though. Yeah, it said 40, 41 degrees. Um, you couldn't really walk very far 
in that weather. It was like a block, maybe two blocks before you're like, let's check this store out. <laughs> <laughs> what is the store? I don't know. It has air conditioning because everything has air conditioning. <laughs> so, oh, bye Atari. That was Atari. I didn't announce Atari. Oh, no, he's gone now. Um, so I went to Texas specifically, not for vacation, but for a film festival that um, my film was playing in. Uh, it was the Women Texas Film Festival. Uh, it was a four day long film festival, super fun, really well organized. Um, did the whole red carpet thing, um, like proper professional red carpet. People so take, you mean there was a red carpet there? There was a at real, the red carpet. There was a real red carpet oh. at the red carpet. It doesn't it, always happen that way, apparently. It doesn't. Not always. <laughs> this time it did. Oh no! Which nice. I was, we were very pleasantly surprised. Yeah, at. yeah, that's good. Um, <laughs> yeah, they had a really nice um, step and repeat, which is the backdrop for uh, photos. Um, it was super flat, like big metal bars holding it up. Some, oh, yeah, holding yeah. it up. Sometimes you can just get plastic ones or like a draw string one or whatever yeah uh those get a little wavy this one is like pulled tight oh, yeah. super super it was huge it was like 10 feet tall and i don't know how wide like really long wow um photographers taking pictures at the beginning and then there was a line of uh people doing interviews uh, reporters from magazines online places oh wow and you know we had a handler that they directed us to the next person it's like oh okay you've got to talk to these person people from a perfect 14 okay here you go and clip the mic on and yeah it was really really well done nice and so we posted some pictures up on facebook instagram on the a perfect 14 instagram uh there's more coming because we actually hired a professional photographer to take photos of us not just of us but like photos oh, of the photos the of yeah, us because yeah, 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 yeah. that's the cool ones that's the cool stuff yeah right yeah. especially for later yeah because and, and normal photos too yeah, yeah. because we want a mix of both so yeah. um that was really cool and we won we won a prize we nice. won an award nice um for it was called it's called the storyteller award um and it is given for best writing oh nice um but it was awarded to both of us in recognition of the editing and the writing um, that myself and my partner did nice. on the film. It was a, a surprise. Um, one, because it's a surprise, <laughs> because you never expect an award, because yeah, just yeah. being in a festival is really crazy. Just It's like you're out of hundreds, if not thousands, of, of entries. Thank you, Astromirrors2008, for resubscribing. You're up to five months. You are awesome. One more month and you get a different little symbol. Oh, I mean, we can't fancy. give much, but <laughs> we have symbols. <laughs> um, uh, yeah, I, I guess that it shows you have Twitch Prime, but you're not subscribed if you have the little crown. Uh. And then if you type something else, he'll have a proper zero page homebrew little icon. That is the crown of shame, I guess, that you have Twitch Prime, but you haven't given it to anyone. <laughs> there we go. He's got it. Yay! Or you haven't given it to us because he still oh, has yeah, the yeah. crown. Right. Uh, okay, that's very cool. Um, yeah. Um, and also, we're a documentary. And we're competing with not only documentaries, but fictional films. Ah. And to get a writing award against, or a storyteller award, against uh, films that you can make up anything you want in yeah, yeah. is pretty good. So you're competing against people who can tell any story they want. Um, so that was really awesome. And, you know, they gave us, they temporarily let us hold a, uh, an example award because <laughs> they're going to get it, uh, uh, inscribed right, with right. our name and stuff. But we got our pictures with the temporary award, <laughs> <laughs> but it's cooler when you have your name on it, right? Yeah, of course. Yeah. yeah. So this is our third award for the film, which is awesome to yeah. be able to like put on your poster Winner, winner, winner. Yeah, for Chicken sure. Chicken dinner. Oh. <laughs> um, you only needed two for that. Yes. <laughs> triple chicken dinner winner. <laughs> and then all the other things, uh, you know, selections. You can put selection. Official selection makes it sound big. But it just, it means you're in the film festival. But winner's, yeah, yeah. winner's the big thing. Um, 
So that was uh, an amazing experience, of course, winning and being there. And it was really well run, which is the best thing about it. Like, everything was super awesome. They flew us in there. They got us a hotel. They drove us from the hotel to the event every day um, in these nice, big, huge SUV, black SUVs. Yeah, it was really good. Um, thank you, Dan K. Um, yeah, we put a lot of work into the story of the film so it was nice getting that like that was the hardest thing is to get the story out of it um so i have some exciting news that i can't share with you <laughs> which is always fun um but i can uh tell you kind of what it is um john shampoo uh let me know yesterday what his next arcade port game is and you he, I can't he's tell not you. gonna tell you what it is but he I, knows I know but I, can't I don't tell know. you it's really exciting it's definitely a game I could find out you could I and could you, find you'd out be like what game <laughs> I could I could use trickery yes. or some sort of torture or ask uh, you could. I mean he's pretty tough he'd withstand torture but Atari over Ooh. there oh I'd give in right away <laughs> see that see? would be terrible <laughs> It's um, like spanking the, the, the kid's uh, uh, teddy bear. That's right. Don't yeah. touch my teddy bear. Ah! This, is, this, <laughs> this is a game in desperate need of a good port to the 2600. So it's really good that he's taking it on. Um, so I'm really interested in seeing how it turns out. But I don't think he's announced it yet. I'm not going to say what it is or is not because me saying what it's not gives more idea to what it could be, I guess. Um... And speaking of Champ Games, the box art for Wizard of War was just released yesterday. Mm. Um, oh, Milton Buddha's Gentleman, A Moment of Silence by 1991, General Electric. I got one of my own place. When I got my own place, has been my 2600 television Odyssey TV, so I get a CRT TV, for the past 10 years, died this morning. Oh. Um, it's very sad when a CRT dies. But what Is happened to it? Yeah. Is, that is not it dead, on? dead? Because you no could get sound? it fixed. Yes. I recall. Probably cheaper to buy a new one, unless that's one of those fancy ones, like really nice. Yeah, but he's had it for 10 years, and it's, it's worth that's mourning. True. It's worth resusc resuscitating. Power supply? Oh, that's, that's easy fixable. One. Yeah, you could just go find an equivalent television. <laughs> it's only just... mostly dead. <laughs> only mostly dead. You just need to get one of those... Uh, B b b baffles, bowel. What are the things you put into a the fire? Into the fire. Baffler. Baff I don't know. Baffling. So it's the B. It goes, and you put Air it into blower. the mouth, and you resuscitate the TV. It's a yeah. it's a Princess Bride a, reference. I think it is a something like baffler. <laughs> but that doesn't sound so right. Yeah. Bellow. Bellows. Bellows. Be yeah, we remembered the word. We together. <laughs> you got the B and I got the rest. <laughs> yeah. 28 He's years old done. television. Oh, before Even it's better. Time. Even better. Even more reason to fix it. Don't give up. Don't give up. Don't give up. So let's take a look <laughs> at the uh, graphics for Wizard of War. Because um, they're really, really nice. Oh, well, that's good enough. Um, so that's the front of the box. Look at that beautiful yeah, it's standard nice. blue and orange that uh, movie posters always go for for the past 15, 20 years. Um, yeah, great. Look at that demon and the wizards there. Um, can you see my mouse? No. Maybe I should turn that on because that might be helpful. Like I can point at things. Um, yeah. Very nice for the Atari 2600. Let's take a look at the back there. Oh, that's really cool. Even though it's... No, is this a 3D render, you think? Or you think it's a photo? Because... 3D render of what? Of the box. Because oh. all the boxes he puts, like, um, Atari Age puts out as, like, examples. Here's what the box is going to look like. I mean, it doesn't look position. like a physical box. It doesn't, but it's got a little bit of shadow there, but it could just be overlaid. But the thing that's giving away for me is that little little lip there is showing through something. Yeah, like It just doesn't bit. look the, like... It I see what you're perfect. saying, but the, the sides look like they're not. Yeah. Zoom. There we go. That just kind of pixelates Zoom in it. more. 
I don't think that's going to help. It's already pixelating. Enhance. 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 Rotate. <laughs> uh, Wizard of War Arcade, the evil Wizard of War, has teleported you against your will. Because, you know, that's not good. It's better when you want to be teleported. Uh, it's better when you don't, because then you can't be held responsible for your actions. But actually, the good thing about being teleported is now you know that technology exists. Right. And you can steal it from the evil wizard and teleport him where he doesn't want to go. Yeah, but the problem with technology that yeah. is based from evil wizards yes. of war or otherwise... They may be the power source. They may be willing to use a power source you are not willing to use. Like, say, Black, dark, the souls magic. of the six-month-or-younger puppies. Yeah, if right? that's the power source for teleportation... It would be used very sparingly and, and <laughs> it only, only in emergencies. Used, it would only be used to save greater than one puppy. Yes. <laughs> it's, it's the, the souls of greater than one puppy. It's, it's the trolley problem. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Sorry, puppy, who is in no current danger. Yes. Two other puppies are in current danger, and you must die so that they could live. That's right. Sorry, little puppies. <laughs> There's two puppies that are in danger. <laughs> and those puppies will probably be sacrificed they're, later, Together, too. they're equally, <laughs> or they're slightly cuter than you alone. I mean, that's a <laughs> renewable energy source at that point. If you're, <laughs> if you're destroying one puppy to get two puppies. Y yeah. And you're using it to teleport the puppy <laughs> to <laughs> you. <laughs> but if all you're getting is two puppies, it's not worth it. Because you're killing a puppy... To no, then you can do two teleports later and then make four puppies. But then you're, I guess, you could build up your puppy, puppy supply. You build, you're multiplying you know puppies, you not can teleports. Do, you can do a bit of good. Then you can do what you will with the puppies. But you can only use them until they're uh, six months old. That's so, why you got to keep track of their age. <laughs> and you can do some good by teleporting them from puppy mills and treating them nicely for a bit. Maybe until it's not six puppy mills. Old. Maybe it's uh, well, you know where opium houses. Either way, you're still doing more good than harm. <laughs> Not by your plan. Your plan is to use them later for more teleporting. Well, you've you've got the puppy. Like <laughs> <laughs> the puppy, if you don't use it. And you're rescuing more puppies from more puppy mills. It's actually it just the puppy's bad. souls, anyways. That's powering them. The puppies don't have to die. You just have to have their souls. So now you have soulless puppies. Walking that's right. Around. Soulless doing puppies. evil. Not necessarily. Just they just zombie have, puppies. They're just soulless. What happens? It means to they can't go to puppy, puppy heaven. Oh, well, hmm. I mean, you could be worse. Where do they go? Puppy uh, purgatory? No, they they, just, they see their souls cease to exist. They're just meat, right. They're just meat puppies. That's. T <laughs> we'll end on that. <laughs> <laughs> um, so. This is obviously is wonderful. Uh, to escape, you must battle alien monsters through 99 different dungeons. Good luck getting through 99. Oh, my God. Including the arena, infamous arena, and the pit. Yeah, we did encounter the pit and died immediately. It's just this big open area. It's so mm. hard. Team up with another warrior and venture deeper into the wizard's lair. It is definitely easier with two people. Uh, all the features and of the arcade classic and more. Create your own custom mazes. Look at that. A little Atari symbol going on there. Clever. Um, multiple skill levels and simultaneous two-player action, which is awesome. And the best part, Atari Vox speech support lets you hear the wizard taunt you with over 60 phrases, just like the arcade nice. game. And Atari Age, uh, Al just posted the other day that he says he is working very hard to getting the new fixed Atari Vox um, uh, yeah. support hardware hmm. that it's working because the Atari Vox Plus unfortunately cuts out on intense things like uh, this game. Uh, um, so it play it works for be a hardware bit. fix or a software fix. No, it's a, it well it's a it's a new piece of hardware. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you'd have to Get either ex one. exchange. Maybe he's going to do exchanges for the Atari Vox Plus. Or you bring yours in and they'll swap it out, maybe. Maybe it's too costly for that. Who knows? But at least you know you can buy a new one. Mm -hmm. And he's going to try and have it for the Portland Retro Gaming Expo this October, which I'm very, very looking forward to because there are a pile of games to buy. Like, literally a pile and I'm going to be poor. <laughs> <laughs> Poorer than I already am. Uh, after poor. making this film. <laughs> uh, 
Um, and an also announced uh, just the other day. Oh, I should bring that up too. Did he have the box art done? No, he had the cartridge done. Oh, wait till the box art is um, Pro Golf that we've been playing on the show that we completed all the 18 holes the other day. He's going to be selling that at the Portland Retro Gaming Expo. It's uh, Edward Smith's Pro Golf. Um, so let's switch back. Okay. Where were we? Oh, yeah, I need to read the chat. That can go away. Um, I love the, uh, that I missed the beginning of this conversation and can't imagine how it got it started. <laughs> <laughs> it was about teleportation within Wizard of War. So funny. Can't wait for the Quadtari to become available. Anyone know the ETA? Um, John Champo let me know that he is programming Wizard of War and Galagon to make sure that they will work with the Quadtari. Um, so the programming will be done. The release date on the Quadtari would be awesome for PRGE, but I think it's too close now because I haven't heard any updates. And it's a piece of hardware, and hardware takes takes time to mm -hmm. put it all together um, because the games can just be flashed into a cart. Um, obviously, you have to make boxes and the labels and stuff, but I think hardware is in a whole other level for that. So uh, I, I don't have huge hopes for PRGE. But hopefully after. Obviously, these both these games work just fine without uh, without the Atari box. They'll still use the save key and stuff. Oh, and the Golf one, it's going to be three cartridge releases in one. Each one will have a different course. One is like a sand desert course. That's what it is. So it's going to have a lot of sand. One is going to be this year's Augusta course that they're playing on this year. I don't know anything about golf. I'm just reiterating things, so forgive me if this is all wrong. And one is the one we played on the show, which is his own design. And that's the one that's going to come with the box. Mm. So there's the, the boxed, fun, boxed one with his courses and then two extra cartridge releases. Yeah, It's all in the um, Atari Age forums if you want to ask him more questions or take a look at the um, cartridge art. Actually, I can bring that up. I'll bring that up. Let's take a look at you it. Have the it's power. actually pretty good. Um, I do have the power to bring that up. Uh, okay, Pro Golf. Pro Golf. Where is it? I'm going to have to search for it. Oh no. Where is it? Oh, there we go. Because you used to call it Championship Golf. That's why I couldn't find it. And we'll go to the last page. There it is. And copy that over so you guys can see it. Did I press a button? I did. Good. And now you guys can see it because it is pretty, pretty nice. There we go. There it is. Atari 2600 video game cartridge, uh, Pro Golf. Um, this, this looks like it's been printed out on a printer because I can see the vertical lines. Uh, maybe he will get it printed professionally or not, but at least this is what it looks like. Yeah, I can see it didn't cut on the line down there on the end label. Mm -hmm. um, <clears throat> but it, it looks really nice. Got a nice logo. Looks like old school kind of with the 2600 along the top. Uh, and this is going to be distributed by Good Deal Games. So I don't know if they have a booth there or maybe they'll be selling as part of another booth. Um, but he said it will come out at uh, Portland Retro Gaming Expo for people to buy all three copies. There we go. Are we a little dark today? Oh, this is shadowing you. That's no good. Looks a little dark. I think I need to set that, but we'll do that in a bit. Um, okay, more news. More news. Let's get our chat back so we know what the hell you guys are talking about. Oh, there we go. Thanks to Nathan Strum. Um, and I also didn't say the name of the person who designed the artwork for the Wizard of War. And I apologize. I don't. Let's see if I have that link. One second. Because I do want to give credit where credit is due for these pieces of art. If anybody knows it in the chat, if you could say it. Um, don't bring your piggy bank to the purge. 
<laughs> oh, I see you're purging your piggy bank at Purge. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> purging it at Purge. Uh, I will be too. Looking for all the spare quarters and dimes and pennies. Dave Dries? Dave Dries? Dave Dries. I'm going to say Dave Dries. Dries. Somebody phonetically type it out into the chat, please. <laughs> he dries. D R Y. He dries. S. He never washes. He only dries. He only dries. Keeping it clean. Uh, okay. Keeping it dry, anyways. Keeping it dry. It may not be clean. At least he's drying it out. Um, there is an Atari Age sale at their store. Um, 10% off, uh, 2,600, 5,200, 7,800 Jaguar and Atari 8-bit computer games. Uh, not hardware, uh, just the games. Um, it ends September 4th. Um, so get in there if you've been thinking about buying it. I think it's like making room for all the new games that they are bringing out. And it's a bunch of new games. Um... A Roach in Space is coming out. I'll be buying that. I'll be buying Aardvark. I'll be buying Amoeba Jump. I'll be buying P Baby Pac-Man for the 7800. I'll be buying Dragon's Descent for 2600. Evil, Evil Magician Returns 2, which I've not played because there is no binary release for that. I think it's just going to cartridge. But I don't know. There's Fantasy World Dizzy for the Jaguar. There's Galagon, which I'll be buying. There's Gyvol Gyvolver. Gyvolver. The Scramble for 5200, Speedball 2, Brutal Deluxe Jaguar, Tire Tracks for 2600, and Wizard of War Arcade. So, yeah, bye bye, money. <laughs> <laughs> bye bye, money. And he, uh, Al added, we plan on making these new games available in our online store late November. So, uh, PRG is mid October, so about a month later, they'll be coming out. Uh, now I'm dying to see the Galagon artwork. So am I. Oh my god. Yeah, I can't wait. And my recommendations, if you don't have any clue of which games to pick up in the Atari Age sale. Um, oh, also, if you spend $200 or more, you get a free game. Uh, either ship it, uh, sheep it up or Balloon Trip. And I really love Balloon Trip. That's an awesome game. So I put together just balloon trip. eight... Um, you are you have a little balloon and you're flapping your arm and arms and you're dodging little sparky things that are in the air you may not have Is it the one it. where you you're going where it swings right. back and forth? No, that's different. That's balloon crazy balloon. That's crazy yeah, balloon. Yes, so you may yeah. not have played balloon trip. Yeah, I don't think I saw balloon. It trip. is really good. Um it's based on an old NES game. Can vouch for a balloon trip. Maybe I'm biased. A little bit, maybe. Possibly. But it is a very good game. Blue, uh, Blue Swimmer did a great job on that game. Um, but my recommendations, obviously not including the new games, because they're not out yet, um, to get your <clears throat> balloon trip, your free balloon trip, um, I would recommend, these are my favorites, uh, Medieval Mayhem. Awesome. We played that at the 12-hour gaming marathon, Stellathon. Um, Juno First. Draconian, Super Cobra Arcade, Mappy, Wall Jump Ninja, Panky the Panda, and Stay Frosty 2. Those would be the ones. If they're all $25, or maybe a bit more, so you can add up to $200. So those would be my recommendations. So, now we're going to get on with the games, and we have the world-exclusive debut of Iran by uh, VHZC, who's on a roll this year putting out so many games um so this was uh first announced august 5th 2019 uh and this build is uh august 20th three days ago so this is brand new it is not out it is not available we have the first look at look at it uh i am very uh privileged uh honored and privileged <laughs> i guess to uh be able to play it uh, Flock of Seagulls soundtrack. No, he's not put in a soundtrack yet. Um, but that is a good suggestion. But he does pay homage to it in the game and see if you can uh, figure it out. That's the one. And this is a double... He's playing a double game release. So there's going to be Do Re Mi. And we'll play that quickly because it is an updated version too. Um, have you played uh, Do Re Mi? But okay, I it's, don't. It's a quick reaction game, mm. um, but we'll we'll take a look at it that after. Um, so let's go to Iran, and you can see Iran so far away. <laughs>
And this is the genre of endless runners. Have you ever played an endless runner where it's just you just keep running and there's obstacles to dodge or jump over or so it's like ball jump ninja. Yeah, very it's an very endless jumper. That one's a little. That or, one's in the same vein. Or uh, the, the amoeba jump. Amoeba jump is in the same vein, but not the same. Uh, not the same. Because there's no running. There's no running. You must have running. One. Uh, maybe, maybe not. I, I would think, uh, yeah, probably, probably. How about the Flappy Bird one? Is that a runner or no? Because no, no running. No, I wouldn't. I wouldn't call that one. Those are endless things, but those pause. Like the Wall Jump Ninja, you can kind of pause. This one, you don't pause. You just keep running, running, running forever. So I, I would think that. I mean, I, I have a definition, and this is very hard. Oh, you actually jumped over that one. <laughs> oh, I died. This is this is this. Nope. This has a lot of similarities to VH said a lot of VH said C's games, um, nope. where there is so <laughs> much variety, and you just have to kind of learn as you go what each of the obstacles, how they behave. Um, so this is going to be a lot of fun trying to learn this. <laughs> this is a 32k. Um, oh no. <laughs> This is a 32k game, but it is also two games. Um, other games he's made, Do Re Mi, uh, Draco, Iran, <laughs> Night Guy in Low Res World, uh, Low Res Racer, Ninjish Guy, Peril, and Aroach in Space. And Aroach in Space. Is I will out. say that thankfully you are not punished for dying by having to wait an hour for your next turn to start. Yeah, there's no end scroll... Uh, there's no waiting. You just press the button, and you and it does wait for you to press the button. Oh yeah, there's ducking. You figured it out. <laughs> so there's jumping and ducking. Those are the two moves you have. You can't go faster. You can't go slower. Oh okay. So I can just I just hold the joystick to duck, and that's it. That's it. You hold you hold it down right. to duck. Yeah. Some comments. Uh, Carl G. Yes, the background is unbelievable. Um, the slowly scrolling buildings that are kind of... I, I, you can't jump if you're ducking. Yes. And on those... Just let it be known. Oh, you can't do both at once? You can't do a duck jump? No. Like on Super Mario Brothers? <laughs> yeah, the, the buildings in the background kind of hazy through the smog is really, really nice. And they slowly... There's parallax going on with those. Um... That one, I think it's not fully programmed yet, because I'm pretty sure you, he wants you to. Oh. That one's he wants you to jump on that one to open the door. See, the lesson I had learned is don't touch things; they kill you. <laughs> yes, mostly, almost 100 percent, everything kills. Oh, you. that duck! The duck! The duck! It's a clue! Yes. <laughs> Actually, it might be a seagull. No, it's a, not a clue if it's a seagull. <laughs> Yeah, if it's a, if it's duck, a duck, it's uh, a clue. Get it? Yeah, get it? Okay, I didn't even get that. But there's a uh, group of flying uh, birds later on. You just got one, but there's a flock of them a little bit later. Seagulls, not ducks. There we go. No, if it's you're... the duck. <laughs> oh, if you're jumping and push down, you will fall faster. Oh, so there is another oh. move. I because tested it. It worked, but <laughs> not a, not what, the it was way a bad went. idea to do it there. Because some things like this, you do want to not stay in the air too long. Oh, oh I missed it. I missed it. I yeah. pulled down two. And welcome VHZC to the chat for helping nope. us out. And that this. was and unfortunately, it gave me a redo, and I'm I I wasted it. Um, so the first uh, message he said uh, on August 5th, Today I started to program a new simple game using the Night Guys engine. It's a simple runner game using sprites from previous uh, games. I think I will create new sprites for the game so neither Knight nor Ninja... No! <laughs> but a square, squarey guy runner, which he, which he actually <laughs> changed again to a less squarey guy runner. Oh, that one you need to pull down. And somebody in the comments... Um, oh, 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 close. Mentioned... Um, Moon Patrol. Uh, you got the right idea, right idea but yeah. Moon Patrol because of the pits. Because there's um, those pits in Moon Patrol that you have to jump over. Uh, on August 10th, he said, some uh, some advancement in my most recent project. Now it has a working name, uh, which is Iran. Uh, since probably it will not use 32K 
and I have a couple 4K projects I'm testing the idea of making a ROM with more than one game in it. Uh, the menu is not too pretty. And he's saying he has a couple of 4K games, so maybe he'll add more than just Do Re Mi and, and um, Iran. There you go. Ah. Uh, um, and, okay, for the definition of Endless Runner, because we were trying to figure out that. Uh, endless running or infinite running games are platform games, which, which means it's a guy that's running, mm -hmm. uh, in which the player character is continuously moving forward through a usually procedurally generator, theoretically endless world game world. So that fits exactly right in because this is totally random and en seemingly endless so far. <clears throat> but I have seen endless runners where they have levels, where it's like you have to make it through a certain amount. And I think that's a really good thing to do because then you can increase the speed on level two, change the colors on level two, like um, you can have sunsets and make it darker in the background um, or just change the colors or change the building that you're running on underneath because he still has room for <clears throat> having scrolling stuff underneath him as well um, because he's not uh, using that for anything. It's just a solid, a solid, uh, a solid color below. The hand is always grabbing my butt. <laughs> Inappropriate. Different death animations would be fun, Nathan Strum said. Also, it would help the game end less abruptly. That's what I was thinking as well when I was playing it um, the other day. Is that the death is like instant, like you're done, you're gone. And it would be good to have him stay on the screen for a second or do something for us just, just a little bit longer so you can see what killed you. Do better and better. Uh, I think I had to jump that one. That one was kind of in the middle. Not yeah. high enough to duck. I think you have to jump my games one. are kind of brutal. Uh, yes. Yes, <laughs> they are. <laughs> it's like my thing. Um, okay, wait. Game controls are limited to making the character jump, attack, or perform special actions. You can continue reading, so I can play now. Oh, that was not low enough. How low, how low does he duck? Let's see. Not that low. Just enough. So that I got killed on that same bullet you did. Mm -hmm. Whee! Ah! Duh. Yeah. Jumping and ducking results in you ducking. <laughs> so if, if, you act, if you're jumping or you you duck and jump, you go nowhere. Mm -hmm. Yeah. There's the flock of seagulls. I've, I've, I've had three that? of them in a row. Uh, ah! Those are great hooks. Oh, what? Those are skulls. Hard. Like, don't touch the skulls. They're, they're, the clue there <laughs> don't touch the is skulls. death. Because <laughs> the skulls, that's when someone's dead, that's what their face looks like. Ah, mm -hmm. that's right. So you get a point every obstacle you clear. And those count as one obstacle. Mm -hmm. So with don't VH... let them grab your butt. Ah! Don't let them slime you. Twelve you points. Slime. Is that a high score? No, I think you did pretty good one time, or two times. We need we need the scorekeeper. I got twelve. Can you put J twelve. One thing I noticed is that those. What is that? I guess it just rises up, and you have to just get out of the way of it. Um, Ooh. some things move faster than others. Most are yep. moving, but those things move fast. Yeah, yeah. And so does the spinning blue round slash block thing. Yes. So I <clears> guess <throat> the, bullets. The, the, the intention is that they're not just sitting there. They're coming towards you at the same time. Mm -hmm. Because I found it a bit, a bit, it's, it's hard. I, I guess the bullet's the same thing, right? It's coming towards you. Oh, I pressed it. <laughs> ah, yeah, those things, yeah. Oh no! Oh, I almost Ooh. made it over. I almost made. But it that over. was still a duck uh, obstacle. There are there are things I think you have the option of. Should have pressed down. See, 
That's hard to it's hard to do the the jump and then press yep. down. Let's see. Because I'm doing it on things I shouldn't be. <laughs> but that one, that one, that's, you that's what you do. do it, yeah. yeah. And on the triple ones, it's just good to kind of start early on anything. Yep. Uh, just two of them. Go. Oops. Oh my god. <laughs> it's hard because there's so many different types of obstacles mm -hmm. that you're like, oh my god, what do I do in this one again? Some of them are... And some of them are, like, there's a difference between two fires yeah. and one fire and three fires. And there's a difference between two close slimes yes. and two separated slimes. And so yeah. you don't know, the first piece of information you have isn't enough. <laughs> no, you have to think and wait and react and, oh my god. It worked that time. Although it is just... No, the slimes are different. You have to do a different thing depending on which slimes there are. Slimes? Is there ones that are far apart? Those just yep. appear on the screen. There's a, a little bit of a bug. The, oh, my God. 17! New high score. Um, when those walls come in, they kind of just <clears throat> pop in. I don't know if that's... Uh, see, that's the, that's the far away slime you no, can't the jump far, over. No, the further... There's a further one anyways. What happened there? You hit it. You hit it. You have to land to on top. It. Oh, I hit it on the side? That's, that's right. I don't know. I'd have I to do see know. a replay of that I do know. one. <laughs> there is a replay. Lucky you. You can look it up later. <laughs> in 60 frames per second. That's right. Six I won't zero frames. I'll, I'll see the exact touching of which pixel <laughs> touched which pixel. Whether my foot touched the top of it or the side of it. Um, so do you think it's too hard to begin with? No. So all these obstacles are like totally doable? I think, I think they are. It's, I don't think there's any that are like... It's easier. It's easier to have the hard obstacles right away because otherwise you have to play for a, a while before you can start practicing the hard <laughs> obstacles. That's true. Whereas yeah. this is like oh, immediately you them. get the hard obstacles and you can immediately start... Also... Who's to say that these are the hard obstacles? We haven't played far enough yet to confirm for sure. That's true. I don't know. Ah, uh, no, you cannot jump 20. both of those things. You can't. Okay. It's too hard. <laughs> I, I, I merely meant to say that I believe there's uh, three slimes. Oh. And another one where they're even further apart. Oh, okay. That one, yeah. But it's so hard because they're coming at you so quickly. And you have to time it right away. Mm -hmm. That one just pops into existence. I don't think there's ever been one. Has there been a one skull? I don't know. Oh, PhD says, yes, you can jump two of them. Okay. Okay. So I guess you can jump the bullets, too. Maybe. Ah, ha, ha. Did somebody get my... Oh, 20. Thank you, RC70. It's not a bad one. It seems bad. Because it's like, you only jump 20 obstacles. <laughs> no, no, it's 20. 20 groups. Yeah. One fire is just as valuable oh as three fires. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Oh, accidentally jumped early. I like the little hand warning. It's like, three, two, one. Oh, just kidding. Here's a hand. Now you yeah. go. <laughs> <laughs> and it points you in the direction that you should be going <laughs> even though you have no choice whatsoever <laughs> there that's a wide wide one the ones I've been messing up on are the yep. the medium yep that's what I was saying yeah there's, there's uh... sometimes it's a hand and a wall Whoa. those are so cool those hooks coming down from the ceiling look awesome. Those ones are really, really tall. <laughs> but not the two bullets. Okay, the slimes, because they're really low. The bullets are way too tall. Initial first or last? It helps to have this running in another window. What is that? What has he got running in another window? I would need to see. <laughs> well, we 
can't put that on because we're gonna get copy striked. <laughs> he had a f he had a flock of seagulls. I ran running in another window. That's funny. Ah, uh, yeah, VHCC. Maybe you can put like a a kind of similar song to that, or at least not the same notes, but similar pacing to the flock of seagulls song. Two points. You can do it. One slime. I pressed the button, but I guess not hard enough. Yep. Oh, hard enough. Just wrong timing. No, no, I, I, it didn't jump. Mm -hmm. It's not that it jumped at the wrong time. It's that it did not jump. Did not jump at all. Yeah. Um. I have found that too. That it, it, there's like a tiny, it tiny little pause. It wasn't the game. Pause. It wasn't the game. It was so? a mechanical thing. I know. Oh, it was, okay. I hit the side of a button or something. <laughs> that you ducked. <laughs> ah, death by slime. Oh my god! I got over the butt grabber. Whoop! Oh, he said you can't jump those. <laughs> I know. <laughs> um, suggestions. There's not many. <laughs> um, I love the variety of obstacles. See, it felt like I hit the top of that, but I think I hit the back hit the side, end. and then it just I hit the side, but it looked like I hit the top. Yeah. Um, the graphics are awesome. No suggestions there. Oh, maybe something along the bottom, uh, something that moves as well with you, uh, so it gives you um, a sense of the relative movement of things that are coming towards you, like bullets. Um, you could use um, the two-player characters, you know, bricks, make them bricks and make them triplicates or uh, duplicates, uh, moving below him. Um, uh, almost. Um, what? Yeah, some something underneath to give a sense of of movement. I mean, the things that are moving at the right right speed to give you that. Oh, I guess you can't put it in the in the the brown, but you can put it in the in the gray because you have those divots. I like I landed on that one. A smoother jump arc. Oh, I haven't even paid attention to that. Let's see what it is. Does it just go up and down? Um, let's see. Uh, it's not bad. I, I, I think it feels natural, the jumping. Um, Blue Swimmer's, I guess, suggesting gra um, more natural gravity to his movements. But it, it's appropriately video gamey, the jumping. I haven't really found an, an issue with that. Yeah, it's totally, totally fine. Um, I, f I find. I mean, once once he puts it out to the public, everybody else. Oh, lots of, lots of. Oh my God, endless flocks. Oh, I thought of it ducks. Was a <laughs> flock of ducks. That that's that's I think is it. Oh, I jumped too late because I was pointing. Because um, you're talking. That jumps in the the two the two walls the bottom is empty because i'm playing with an idea to put uh the runner there in some screens something like pitfall <gasps> that would be amazing um where you can have the choice to fall through mm. or jump over the pit uh -huh. and then have different dangers underneath and then maybe he can just go upstairs to get back up or jump back up as well so i think he jumps high enough to make that work or you don't jump the hook and it grabs you and it lifts you up to another level Yes. Hey, maybe that's how you get to level two. <laughs> and you have an opportunity, or you can miss it, to um, uh, to make it to level two. But I think another suggestion would be having, I did it, jump the two, and I didn't do it that time. No, you didn't. <laughs> <laughs> to have ends of levels um, at points, like 20 points, because I, I made 20. <laughs> um to give a sense of um, accomplishment and um, and then change the color of the building or color of the background, even though nice uh, blue is really nice, because it's like a like a blue sky. But uh, got shot right in the face. It, but it was too late. 
But in terms of difficulty, VHC likes difficulty, and his games are not easy. Um, I have been able to complete some of them, <laughs> but uh, but they're not so hard that they're like I can't play this game. Yeah. It's more like I need more practice at this at this part. Um, but I think yeah, having a level end and then changing color would be like okay, I made it to level two. Um, because right now it's just it's just points being able to keep track of that, which is fine. Um, but just for oh, no, you got to do that last minute and then jump immediately. Docks, duck for the docks. Whoa! Almost got a faceful hook. There's three of them. Yes, it's much easier to do that than to do the t to jump in between them because it's it's so fast. This game really keeps you on your toes. <laughs> like you cannot look away for a millisecond. Oh, it's so hard. <laughs> okay, so um, awesome game. Really good. Yeah, it is really good. Um, Anything else that you would like to see in it? Or is it too hard? Is it the right... No, I don't think type? it's too hard. Yeah. It is what it is. And yeah. and like I said, there is an advantage to having it difficult at the beginning. Yes. Cause Sometimes when it's easy, it's that the easiness is there to get you to keep playing. But it yeah. punishes you by making you play the, the easy parts, which puts you in the wrong pacing for the hard parts when you finally get to them. And Yeah. And, the and problem I have you don't get to practice with the hard parts because you don't... Exactly. Yeah. That's what I was just going to say. Some games, <clears throat> it's it's either really easy or too hard, and then you get to the boss or whatever, and you get one try at him, and you just die, and then you have to play for 20 minutes again all over. Uh, Carl G says, Waves might, might be nice too, if nothing else, for a small break. And that's what I'm thinking, like levels. or You can't like, do that in a like, running game, though. You're not allowed to, You have to keep running. You, I have seen that in Endless Runners where it does keep running, but this, the colors change. So it doesn't stop, but you still have levels. Like you could go level two, <laughs> you flash level two above, but you keep running and then the building changes. Or you jump to the next building, a big gap, and you go, oh, jump to the next building. That's a way to do it. So let's go on to the second game. Oh, no. Not yet. Wait, I'll switch back. Let's take a look because, and he didn't even tell me, that this has an updated uh, version of Dory Me included with it. Ah. And we're going to play that, play that briefly. Um, I'm not going to, oh, I can change the graphic. Because I do have a graphic for Dory Me. Do, re, me. There we go. Boom. It's changed. Boom. Done. Okay. There you go. Professional. Yep. Arcade power stick. Oh, you're dead. you got to press in the direction that the notes are coming. And that's all there is. Oh. And this is a hard, hard game. You can return to the menu with select. Oh, thank you very much. Uh, Mr. Vic said, it would be cool to have that exclamation mark mark the end or start of a wave. Yeah, some, something like that. You Maybe you can grab the exclamation mark or run through it like a door. How many did you get? Two, three, four, five. <laughs> this game makes me feel stupid. One, <laughs> it is hard. It's really hard. And you do get three lives. Um, and the more you do in a row, the higher the multiplier is. And it plays an off-tune ABCs. <laughs> <laughs> Don't try to guess. Don't try to guess. <laughs> no, there's no guessing. And this fits with his, the brutality of VHZC's games. And this is a, a great example of a, a, a mini game. Um, on an earlier version, I got like 90,000 points or something because his multiplier was off. Because I got too many in a row and it just went nuts. 
It was wonderful. <laughs> Can't hear you talking. <laughs> Go to concentrate. There's no James. And that's this is me concentrating. <laughs> Because now it changes color to the note, um, and I think the graphic in the middle is a little bit different as well. Okay, my turn. <laughs> See if he's made it harder or easier. Or... Oh, I got a multiplier. Ah! I was talking. I can't talk. Oh my god. Hard. And the ones to the side appear to come faster yeah. because of the pixel Pixels, ratio. Yeah. yeah. It's just all part of the difficulty. I did I wondered if it was like the color of them that made them harder. Uh no. But it's, it's just, just left right. to the side, yeah. Oh, and you can get extra lives too, which I just did. I can't remember what the score levels are because I don't have my notes. Does the random music again after this? No, got new music. Ah! Oh no! <laughs> ah! Amazingly enough, it actually doesn't get any harder. But it's just the tension of you getting the multiplier and making it far just is enough to make you crazy <laughs> and make you mess up do you get an extra life at a thousand maybe yeah i think it's a thousand because i did get one yeah. or two you definitely just got one anyways or i suspect you just got one an earlier, I guess. I just oh got you just one. got two multipliers go crazy does after your one. does your help when you get one does it fill them up you just got another one. <laughs> it's every 500, maybe. Oh, yeah. And the multipliers are going crazy. And you probably have full lives right now. Uh, yeah, probably. Oh, he's added a lot more music. What happened? Did I mess up? I don't, I, I don't know what happened there. I don't know what happened did there I, either. Did I die? I didn't think you did, but... Yeah, because maybe my joystick went the wrong way. Anyway. Good score. Good improvement. Musical Cosmic Arc. Yes, exactly. Now you can get a fourth life. Oh, okay, you could only get three before. Uh, but super fun game. Um, I, you can download this game in the Atari Age forums, if I'm correct. Um, but not Iran. Um, I'm sure he will will release it because um, he's pretty good about that actually <laughs> every single update he puts it out there okay so let's move on to game number two hold it down please and this is a Atari recently renamed Ike. game um, it used to be called the bomb game and it is a two-player game but he has added um, a single player Cannon Head Clash, yes. Uh, this is made by Blue Swimmer, who is with us in the chat today. Does it, should it get switched over? It, and the after graphic, graphic. Yeah. graphic, yes. There we go. Cannon Head Clash. Blue Swimmer says hello in the chat. Yes, he is alive. So any questions, you can um, send it over to him. Um, so yeah, play one player first. You died. Uh, this is first posted about on July 24th. You're killing your own island. Hold it down longer. Uh, this build is from August 14th, 2019. Um, so it was put out just before I went away, so I didn't get a chance to play it. Um, the size is 4K, so really tightly made game. Other games he's made, uh, Balloon Trip, Cannon Head Clash, Birds and Beans, Tumble Temple. And you can download this in the Atari Age forums. Um, this is formerly known as Bomb Game, and we had the world exclusive premiere of this uh, last month. Uh, so the updates. Blue Swimmer posted on August 14th. Hi all. 
The new update is ready. This one's a big one, so strap in. New title screen, yep, with the new name. Uh, new title, Cannonhead Clash, which is a great name. You've got the alliteration. And those Ooh, guys have off. those guys have little uh, cannons for heads. Oh, you're catching up, but he only has one more to get. One more point. It's game, game point. No! He won. But you'll do better this time. Will I? You will. Wow. At first you were like... I'm quite sure I won't do better this time. I expect to do worse. Oh my goodness. So, um, John Champo just sent me a message. And um, he just sent me a new build of Galagon. Oh. So this is seconds old. <laughs> this Galagon that we're going to be playing next. Um, okay, back to this game. But we'll get oh, to I that. I keep falling so, off. Thank you. Thank you, John. Because I don't... I, I bet he knows. I don't know if he's in the chat, but... He's, he was probably programming this. Maybe he'll join us in the chat. Why... I, what? You're not doing... Oh, I told you I was going to do worse. He I had fell a, off? I had a nice... All my points come from him falling off. <laughs> Why is he I, falling not, off? Only this time. But first... The last game, I got all, mo most of my points from shooting him. How are you making him fall off? I'm not. He's just randomly being dumb like me. <laughs> That's interesting that the AI will randomly fall, make well, itself fall off. it wouldn't be fair if only I could fall off. <laughs> How did you program that? Just, like, put in a random seed, like, self-suicide thing? Like, how did you do that? Uh, Carl G says there's not enough two-player homebrew, so this one is nice to see. Yes. The AI is learning from Darcy. <laughs> <laughs> that's mean! Our, that's True, our, but mean. That's right. Um, Actually, he fell off before I ever did. Oh, that mostly, was close. Mostly because I didn't live long enough to fall off with my thingy. <laughs> He's killing you too effectively. Oh, you got a point. Um, there's more maps to play on. So this was the default map before. Uh, play to a certain amount of wins. So now it's selectable. Oh, that was close. You almost got it. There is no time limit. Um, there is a way to kind of make it a little easier on yourself. But also, you still have to dodge his bullets like that. Now he can't pass by that unless he decides to fall off the edge. Blue Swimmer, it was a quick fix to a bug I experienced while developing the AI. There was a bug where I walk back and forth when it reached the edge. So whenever that happened, I had just had the guy fall. Oh, funny. Um, there's a CPU opponent now, because he didn't have an AI. And the AI is obviously quite good. Because <laughs> he's, he's, he's kicking your ass. Oh, you're... Oh, why are you destroying your own place? Uh, I fixed a bug involving a death animation that very few people cared about. I didn't. I didn't even notice it. Death animation's awesome. Pew. Falling off the screen. Um, if you'd like to see the update in action, check it out here. Download is below, so you can download this right now. It is in the Atari Age forums. So we will be playing two players momentarily. I'm gonna unplug the Atari box. Look in a joystick. ready to play against Darcy. Five to eight, you can do it. The Who best part you? is I was dying. Destroy. So in this, the longer you hold down the button, the further it um, tosses your cannon. You can fall in the water like we've seen. You. Did you kill him or did he fall? I think mean, he fell off that one, but I, I can't <laughs> believe won. I won. <laughs> I, I want to know, see later how far I was behind because I think it was like one to seven or one yeah. to eight or something like that. It was. Uh, <laughs> it was. It, no, we're gonna play two player now. Oh, I'll play one player after. So, uh, no, no, yeah. you messed up. It's a computer. Oh, it doesn't have anything programmed in for reset. Just fall off, please. That's what I'm doing. Oh. <laughs> so that's one thing he needs to add in the reset and the game select don't do anything. But he probably went, well, why would you ever make that mistake? So press the button to change. He could, you could also add in left and right. Um, so let's play level one. 
Let's go up to that. Because we've seen levels here. It's a different map. Oh. So I am blue. Darcy is falling off. Apparently. So when you're pressing down the button, you are vulnerable because you can't move while you're getting ready to, oh God, oh God, I've got to kill you. And also a thing is you get trapped. You can only climb one of your levels. You can't go up a, an edge that is two, two um, blocks high. Oh my god, you've had practice. <laughs> oh, Falling. Did I, I haven't killed you once. I fell off you twice. You fell off twice. <laughs> that is not honorable. <laughs> I must at least try and kill you. Oh my god. Whoa. I just shot myself. I, I, I remember an earlier build, you can't shoot yourself. Oh my god. Which is... Uh, fine. You mean you can't shoot yourself or you can't shoot your own tower? Uh, you can't shoot yourself. You can shoot your own tower. Which is... Which is... Which is good. Yay! An actual kill! Yay! Oh my god. Oh, I'm moving back into your bullet. Yay! <laughs> that was close. Yay! It's <laughs> cheating, I'm reading. Well, that's... Whose fault is that? That's not my oh, fault. Oh, backed into it again. <laughs> Kicked my ass. <laughs> Uh, I completely forgot about the reset this update. I'm so sorry. No, it's totally fine. Oh, it's hit. it's been implemented. Okay. I love the personality and just these few frames of animation. Yeah, it's incredible. Like, they just duck down. It's just one frame. And the little shifting of the feet. It's really good. I'm going... You play against the computer. I again. think we should move on. <laughs> <laughs> I need a drink of water. I think we should move on. I don't think we should keep playing this game. <laughs> I think mean, this is a good place Darcy, to end. Darcy wants to retire <laughs> the champion of a game that he has just trounced me. I trounced the computer. I a, a, a huge upset. And then another huge upset. I beat James. <laughs> huge upset. Let's move on. <laughs> People betting on the games are, have lost all their money. <laughs> and, and the people that bet on you just made a fortune because the odds were... Or like a, mil a million to one. <laughs> <laughs> okay, play against the computer because I need a drink of water or I'm going to die. This is the one where there's a wall in the middle, where you can either shoot over, or you well, can blast actually shoot it. over. I don't think. Oh, you can't. It's too tall. Mm. But it's pretty quick to get it through. Oh. oh, he just did. All the way. Yeah, yeah. Unless there was already one block broken. <laughs> Mr. Fix says this is a really cool game, Blue Swimmer. Yes, it definitely is. I don't yeah, know what this good. would be classified as but it's the same as like um worms um but worms is um you take turns in worms this is this is a little bit different i don't know what other games would be like this um i'm sure there are ones like this but uh, it's very very unique uh, definitely in the 
in the homebrew realm for 2600. I don't think I, I have seen this game before because there's not many two-player games to begin with. Oh. And definitely not many like this. Action Worms. Okay. Combat. Um, yes. Combat on a, on a basic level, yes, is two guys that can move around and shoot. Um, but... The bullets are totally different than combat. They're arced over, and combat is like a top-down view, and this is a side view. Um, and there's arcing, arcing bullets. There are, there's also play field that gets destroyed, which combat doesn't have that. But combat would be the predecessor to this, I guess. Um, there is one similar game highlighted in the thread. Something about destroying a castle. Yes. Yes, yes, there was, and I don't remember if that is a uh, turn-based or it's an action game or not. I'll have to look into that, and whether that's a homebrew or not. Oh, he's almost gotcha, and ah. he's gotcha. Okay. Well, I don't like the celebration in your voice there. <laughs> Did he sound happy to you? Oh, he got ya. Yeah. You're in too, too... Uh-uh, uh-uh, uh-uh. Uh-uh. I want to play that level. Yeah. But can you go over the top and effectively, like, use that? Or does it just overshoot? I don't know. Oh, I fell off the end. <laughs> for all that digging is for nothing. Yep. This one is challenging because those things are in the way for uh, a while. I think I'm going to get all my points by Darcy walking into the water. <laughs> or me. <laughs> <laughs> Oops! Yes! Haha! <laughs> I must enjoy the small victories I get. the greatest at this game. Ah! <laughs> oh yeah! First shot right over the top. Oh, oh wow. Yeah, you can go pretty far with your shots. Let's see how far it can go. Right off the screen, like you can shoot half a, half a screen width. Uh, I think last time we played the game, um, we made suggestions of um, different weapons and things that destroy the, the things that you're standing on, or rebuild the th rebuild your platforms and they drop from the sky, but there's something to be said about simplicity and just keeping it like really, really pure like this. No power-ups, no bonuses. Um, yeah. I think that might be the way to go. Like, don't don't complicate it. Make it really... Keep it simple. Um, the only thing I think I would love to see is maybe a map editor or some way of... <laughs> that's one way to cut down on your stuff. <laughs> or... Or some kind of level randomizer, um, where it builds the level up um, from nothing. I guess there's no levels where you can cross over each other. There's always a spot in the middle, and that would that would have to be taken into account with the randomizer. Oh, I shouldn't stop. Is there a ROM? Yes, there is a ROM. You can download this game. I think I've just been playing too offensively and playing poorly offensively and not playing defensively enough because you've been hitting me and I've been sitting in one spot trying to concentrate on getting you, but that doesn't work so well. Any 
And it's great not having a power-up level that you can visibly see. So you're kind of always guessing a little bit about how much power to give. There's no angles, there's no... It's just pressing a button. It's really, really simplistic shooting, and it's kind of refreshing that it's not overcomplicated. And it's just a quick... You can just pick this up and play it. There's, oh, see, I'm not being defensive enough. And you won again. Okay, let's see the last uh, last level. Power-ups are being considered, but they'll be toggleable. Ooh. We haven't really been caught out um, being stuck. See, no, now I can't go there. This one is a bit more applicable to this to being stuck. Ah! Whoa! <laughs> I love the ability that you can actually just walk off the edge. Yeah. Like if you're just not paying attention. Ah, uh, and this one, you can stay up, I guess you could stay up here and be kind of uh, safe for a bit, but it also prevents you from shooting. Are you building a hole and making my life miserable? <laughs> <laughs> Which you did. No, it's not worth staying up there. Oh, oh, four to four. It's getting heated. Oh, oh, I'm actually in the lead now. Can it be? <laughs> yes, I finally won. <laughs> oh, same one again. Ah! Oh, I have to play the AI too. Oh my god. Terrible way to lose a point or just give you a point. Don't lose points. Whoa, 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 whoa. Uh -huh. Yes. <laughs> no. Oops. Whoa, that was close. <laughs> you trying to chip away at my land? No, it's trying to hit you. Oh, that's missed. close because my area was very poor. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> oh, 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 it was close. <laughs> yeah, okay. Let me try out the computers. 4K greatness, yes. Two player, one player. I think I want to play that level. He's staying up there, is he? Oh, does he think that ledge is like something bad to come off of because it's too high? Uh, it's it's a good place for range, right? You get you can shoot further. True. Oh my god, he's still killing me anyway, so maybe he's doing the right thing. I think he's just scared to come off the ledge because it's too much of a drop and he thinks that it's a hole. It might be an advantage. Uh, it definitely
definitely is so far. I like the AI is actually pretty... It's my fault. I'm just not moving. That's what's happening. <laughs> yeah, just staying in one spot. Oh, see, now he's coming down because there's a tiny bit of a ledge. Oh my god, I've got to play more defensively. There. Moving when the bullet is coming towards you is a good idea. Yep. There. Especially oh. against the computer. Yeah, against me, it's a <laughs> uh, toss of the dice because I might be missing. Well, the computer's less likely to miss you. They they know where they're they aiming. They tend to throw it at you. Yes. In with, this game, with pretty I mean. good accuracy. Like right now, he's trying to throw it at me, but he can't because it's being blocked. But he's like, that one. He oh, that was terrible. I didn't even get a point on him. Yeah, I don't. I didn't even do that bad. You're, <laughs> you're the Darcy at this game. I am the Darcy at this game. <laughs> it's oh. Come on! <laughs> you That's got a point finally. That's not how I want it. That's not... <laughs> oh, he came down! Okay. Okay. So that's... That's not true. Oh, my God. Okay. Well, good programming on the AI. That is for certain, Blue Swimmer. You did an incredible job. Like... It feels like I'm... Yeah, I got a point. It feels like I'm playing a really good player. And it doesn't even feel like he's making weird random moves. I mean, when he walks back and forth a little bit, it looks kind of like... Yeah, he's he's a computer. But other than that, it's like, no, he's... He's, he's just really good. Really good without being incredibly, like, accurate. Like, mm -hmm. I'm going to hit you every time. Because he doesn't. Sometimes he overshoots. And then I walk into it. If you Not were like dead, this. you were about to die. You were literally about <laughs> yes. to die and he fell off. That's so funny. Yeah. <laughs> ah. Ah. Oh yeah, we have to talk about the sound effects on this game too. Incredible. Like the walking. Yeah, yeah, no, it's really good. So good. Like everything is totally appropriate. can't shoot backwards, so you can't make your own ledges if you're stuck mm. in one where the ledge is yeah, yeah, I gotcha, going yeah. back, yeah. Oh my god! He's hard. <laughs> he is hard. Um... I'm going to be blunt. I was super worried about the C how the CPU opponent would be received. Oh, don't be worried. He is he is really really good. Granted, it may be just because I know exactly how the CPU works and no one else does. Movement yes. is pretty much RNG. Movement, okay, but not not the shooting. Movement being a, a random is fine, because um, you know it doesn't really matter where you are. You can shoot any distance. It's about what's in the way, and I'm, I'm guessing he doesn't care about what's in the way. Um, or where he is, just about where, how far he's shooting. And that's a bit of a random. Sometimes he'll shoot right at you, or there's a variability to it. And it's really, really good. So we're going to move on to uh, Galagon. A brand new, brand new update on it. So I have to load it. One second. I actually have to download it and then load it onto the onto my card. So how? Uh, oh, I see. Shooting uses a lookup table for power based on distance and uh, adds a random value to power, so it doesn't shoot in the same place each time. So it adds a random power, like a negative. So when you shoot, yeah. it's it, if you hold it the exact same amount of time, it won't land in the exact same spot, which which makes for sense us for or a, the AI. I would imagine for shooting, it's you just yeah, talking the about shooting, shooting. The shooting, okay. and that makes sense for lobbing oh. for lobbing uh, mechanics because, like, yeah, it just when you lob things, there's, there's things like wind and all sorts of things. Yeah, so. that makes sense. It lands within, uh, you know, an area, but it's not the exact same spot every time. Yeah, 
Well, that's, that's kind of good. Just keep you on your toes. Okay, so I've got it on my computer. Come on. Now I need to get it onto the card. Where's my... There it is. Oh, it's loading up. The drives are spinning up. For the AI, not the player. Okay. Oh. So, okay. we're fine. Oh, I see. Yeah. Because that would probably be very frustrating. Depends on how how random it is, but it would be a little bit frustrating for trying to lob something. Okay. Okay, so let's paste that in there. And get rid of the older one so we don't make a mistake. I see. So it would shoot at you perfectly every time, except that you add the random value to the power so it doesn't quite go to where you are every time. And is there... Is it a negative or is it always overshoot? Does it add a, add a negative or positive? Because I only noticed him overshooting, never undershooting. But I didn't I didn't look that that long for it. That w hope yeah, it should be both. So we're just Otherwise we're gonna play it with we're gonna play it without the Atari box. Oh, Atari, and we got the this Atari box right here. We do meow mm. meow. He says the same thing every yeah. time. Meow. Which is mostly nothing. <laughs> okay. Mostly scritch, scritch, purr, purr. Yeah, a lot of purrs. Not a lot of voices. Okay. So, this is brand new. Like, literally, like, now it's ten minutes old, but... <laughs> okay, let's load it up. Galagon, straight from John Shampoo's computer. So is over to us. Belly? Oh, is that in your belly? Oh, is that in that belly? Okay, so... <laughs> <laughs> I'll give you that one because that one is a better joystick, I think, for this. And I will read the updates. Um, I'm going to actually post, paste in the new, new updates. And so I can read the uh, old ones and then the new ones. Why no Vox? Um, because we're going to be playing two players. Um, oh, I guess I could add that in, and, but but it does add some issues. There's some unresolved issues with the Quadtari, so I can't... Yeah, because I don't want to introduce those. Um, it, there is no voices. It would just be saving. It would just be saving our high scores, so... Um, ah, okay. Hi, James. Um, I'm ap uh, wrapping up development on Galagon, and I've made some changes. Um, doo -doo -doo -doo. I'm not sure if you're back from Texas. I was able to free up about 600 bytes by compressing the sound data. With this space, I've been working on adding in some more bells and whistles that Ooh. I could do before when I had 28 bytes free. Lol. My case. I've made some big changes no. to co-op mode. <laughs> no, not now. Big changes to co-op mode and challenge mode. And I, uh, I supposed to said I finally got the perfect 40 in challenging stage. Oh, excellent. On the first level, second level, third level? Yes, the Quadtari. This, this magical box. Um, what this does is allows you to plug in two joysticks in port one and the Atari Vox in port two, and be able to have voice, saving, and two-player joystick simultaneously. Um, and depending on how it ends up, we may be able to get four joysticks in one port. That would be amazing, but that's still mm, up in the air right now. Um, but also this one allows for two joysticks in port one and two joysticks in port two, so you can have four-player games which uh, Champ Games is uh, looking towards with his uh, Champ talk. Just, just pointing out that this is essentially like giving away a... F like just dying, voluntary <laughs> death. Uh, because I, I have no... For a purpose. Oh, no way no, of... I have, see, I did that thing. But if you don't shoot your ship, he'll, get it, he'll come back in the next round, so you don't actually lose it. Oh yeah, there you go. It's already gone. 
So as long as you make it to the next one and then do that again, and don't shoot your ship, you'll be able to get it back. There you go. <clears throat> I did shoot my ship last time, though. Mm. Ah! <laughs> it should still come back. <clears throat> What's the issue with it right now? Um, there's issues with... It won't come back, though. It's <clears throat> guaranteed not to come back. There's issue with the Genesis <laughs> controller. And also there's some crosstalk between one joystick and the other, which... In one joystick influences the other joystick, but um, right now they are working on it <clears throat> and will send me an updated version as soon as they've got it ready. Or maybe it'll just go straight to the store and they'll be like, yep, Gal Galagon's out and Wizard of Ward's out. We got to just get it out there. Okay, so we're going to be playing co-op mode. <clears throat> he says, watching people play, this really only seems fun when both players are on the screen as it's mostly a one player watching the other one hoping to get captured. Uh, this got me thinking about how I could have both players active when there was just one ship. Have both players control the ship at the same time, but I would figure this would be too frustrating. Or you could sabotage the other person. Uh, I think uh, that would be fun, actually. <laughs> um, have one player move, the other player fire. Uh, yeah. That's always risky, because you have to time it right and... And you're like, no, fire, you missed it. Um, have the players be able to con change control manually by one, having one player push the joystick down while the other player fired. So you could swap off whenever you wanted. Which, not too bad. Might be a bit complicated. Uh, sound, sounds complicated even as I type it. Lol, he says. <laughs> then I remembered a mode in Demon Attack where two players controlled one ship. With the player controlling player control changing every few seconds. This is what I decided to go with, and I think it's pretty good. Player 1 starts the control. Every 8 seconds, the player control switches. Hmm. Uh, half a second before the <laughs> ship... Half a second before the ship will flash solid with the color of the ship that's about to take control. I may add sound effects here for beeps or maybe something similar. Uh, the control doesn't swap if a ship is captured. Um, and now another change is the players can now cross paths instead of bumping into each other, um, except in advanced mode where the bump logic is still in place. Watching the Zero Page Homebrew crowd play co-op mode, I noticed some frustration where people would be stuck on one side. So, let's get into that. Um, so, oh, here. So go up, go back to the main screen. We'll go with... Let's go with, um, nope, they go left, right, go, nope, <laughs> either left, right, or up, down to change, nope, not that, not that, nope, there, novice, mm -hmm. make me crazy, there we go, okay, so press the button to start, so this should put us both on the screen at the same time, to start, what is, no, I'm in control, what, player one, what? Oh, co-op. We didn't do co-op. One second. There we go. Silly. Silly. Player one and two. Nice. Oh, ho, ho. yes. Yes. Wait. I love it. I'm red. Okay. Yeah, I'm... Uh, I mean, you I'm knew blue. who you were. I did. They you knew. But I didn't know. Oh. Yeah, I'm blue. They knew who, too. They were like, which is the one that's, like, doing nothing? Oh, that's... Yeah, that's... Okay. They didn't even have to think that. So we don't have to worry about getting our ships captured or anything, so we just shoot everything on the screen. Oh, I hate this joystick for rapid fire games. I'm just gonna hold down the button. So we can shoot all the boss Galagas. Without worry. Kill them all. I love the crossover now. That's really, really good. It feels so much less restricted. What was the thing about changing control? Um, that's when it's only one of us. So one of us has to die, and then we'll see. We'll see oh, that come into action. Oh, we're doing really good, so, uh, maybe we don't want to do that just yet. <laughs> oh, no, we're not doing good. We missed. We missed. We didn't. You did. I know. I don't <laughs> count for this, like... We missed, like, two or three of them. Let's see. 37. Three of them. Beautifully executed. Yes. Look at that. Just... Gorgeous. The crossover is is perfect. Who, who's on top? Wait, wait. Oh, almost got hit. Oh, I died. Oh. 
Now it comes into effect. So... Should see a flashing. Here we go. You're going to be taking control. Pretty smooth. Well, what happened there? Now it's your turn. <laughs> <laughs> what happened there? What do you mean, what happened there? <laughs> a game was playing and then I died. That's pretty uh, standard. <laughs> oh, oh, he did put the beeps in. I do not have years You're of You're not playing! It beeped and took your turn. I'm not used to that. Okay. It's back to me. I was watching you play like I normally do when you're playing. Not see it flash. Oh, oh here oh, we no. go. There we go. We have to get captured again so we can both play. Do it, do it, do it, do it. Are there any other Galaga ports out there that have co-op? I'm not, I'm not sure there are. I've never seen one. And I buy a lot of Galagas. <laughs> for various systems. Because I do like it and play it in the arcade. Yay, we're back, we're back. Oh, it puts us together. Now we can go apart. Ha ha, we're back. Nice, love it. Ah, ah, ah! It is a bit confusing, but it's well worth it. Oh okay. yeah, it's, it's, it's cool, yeah. Ah! Wait, where did you go? I died. This, no! <laughs> now I'm back. I love it, I love it. And, um... And he says in the advanced mode, your turn. in the advanced mode it doesn't switch. So if you wanted to play a game where it's just strictly you play, um, oh, I got not used to that. Yeah, <laughs> I was like, I'm not controlling things anymore. What happened? <laughs> I've stopped. Your turn, your turn, your turn. No. It's gonna oh. take some getting used to. Because <laughs> in my head I was thinking about how James died that time because he didn't know it was his turn. Meanwhile, yeah. I'm dying. <laughs> so do you I think the timing is too short? Or it's about no, it's right, just the that eight seconds? There's no part of me thinks that I'm about to play. Yes. <laughs> like zero. <laughs> like you're just like waiting, waiting. Okay. Oh. I'm not mad, I'm disappointed. <laughs> that part is tricky though. Like it is. It switched as you were in beneath Death. bullets. Yeah. Yeah. So you have to, uh, almost have to be like playing before you play like yeah. anticipates like yeah just do whatever you're going to do at that point yeah i'm on 60 or so it says viewed at 60 frames a second the text doesn't glitch yes you have to make sure you're watching at 60 frames a second click the little thing because that's how things work okay so let's keep reading the updates um, so those big thumbs up, big thumbs up for those additions, I think. What do you think? Oh, yeah, 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 it's super cool. There you go. Um, and uh, let's test out actually the advanced mode. Um, so go advanced. Nope, nope, not that one. Don't press the button yet. Hey, you didn't, we're not clear. No, it wasn't. Don't, don't press it. I have to go to co-op. And for people who don't know, the but second button... what else does it do in advanced mode? Other it than... doesn't let you cross. So what are we testing then? To make sure that it doesn't let us cross. <laughs> hey, we have to play test it. That's, sure, that's, yeah. That's the... Oh, no. We have to actually... Because in advanced, you don't start with two, two at once. We actually have to get... We have to earn this. Earn it! <laughs> you earn it. Okay. Oh my god. I was not paying attention down there. I was looking up at the top. I mean, we don't have to get a second one to test it. We can tell right now. <laughs> Wait, eight seconds. Oh, no, it doesn't switch on this one. That's, either. what are you testing then? Two players on the screen at the same time. Yeah. Which we haven't got yet. Oh, it does swap. It said it didn't. That's what I was saying is that if we're just testing to see if it doesn't okay. swap, we don't need to get a second one on screen because we already have the circumstance. I thought it didn't switch. It said that it doesn't. Maybe he's updated it. Oh, too. it's you, it's you! Oh, you killed us! <laughs> <laughs> I guess You cost my... us a quarter. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Okay, let's play that again. Um... Oh, no, 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 no. On advanced mode, it still does switch back oh, and okay. forth. Yeah, I was mistaken. 
but they just bump into they do bump into you can press the button and again what are we testing we got to get captured to test what so that we both can be on the screen at the same time uh -huh. and make sure that we don't cross cross over oh i see it, we should be able to we should be restricting each other each other's movement but, yeah Boo. but this is advanced and it's actually hard it's not as easy as what we're playing because because they they shoot when they come out on this level immediately uh, and they die i did for think you. that that was uh because on the simple mode they don't <laughs> and they dive on this game. oh my god that was quick <laughs> yeah in terms of the 60 frames a second you 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 ah thank you <laughs> <laughs> it, is a, it is something to get used to i've never played a game where that happens me 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 don't kill, don't kill all the boss Galagas, even though there's still four. So. Okay, it's three. You! You don't kill them all! <laughs> you don't kill now them all. Now it's your all. turn to don't kill them all. <laughs> Yours. Okay, the next one coming down should be the one that'll get us. That'll capture us. It's you. It's That's you! That's the one. Get captured! Woo! First I'll part just, I'll just complete. try to survive long enough to not kill our fighter. Okay. Dodge. <laughs> it's my goal. Dodge as much as you can. Oh yeah, it is your turn. Because I got captured. Don't shoot us. Ah! Careful. <laughs> you can kill those other two Galagas. And you do have to be careful when you're shooting that line because your bullet could coincide with them moving over a pixel and actually shoot us. Is it my turn? Seems like you've had a long go. It does. Bug! John! There's a bug! <laughs> You're gonna have to rescue us. Oh! Now oh, it's your it doesn't, turn. It doesn't switch. I think I read that. That's no, not a bug. Never mind. Oh, it doesn't switch when one's been captured. Yes. That's right. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Because it's... I don't know why. It just doesn't. Oh, because you're both technically on the screen, right? I guess, yeah. That makes sense. Although now, ah, now it's red. Yes. So it could oh. switch. Yeah. Because it did switch. And we're dead. We're gonna have to take his word for it. <laughs> <laughs> we'll give it one more go. Yeah, I forgot that it uh, it did say that they don't switch. Okay, pay attention. I only have eight seconds. Okay. <laughs> I'll listen for the noise. Oh, you didn't. You I didn't, didn't listen for the noise. <laughs> there, 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 oh, 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 that's a full armada up oh, there. Ah, your turn, your turn. No. You, if you hadn't mentioned it was my turn, we'd still be alive. It's true. It would have passed right <laughs> by you. <laughs> oh, look at this. Full screen at the top. It's deadly. Your turn. Avoid bullets at minimum. <laughs> That's the one. Don't. Ah! Oh, no! No, stay here! No, it flies away. But he does come back. He'll come back. That was your fault. And in greater numbers. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, the next one should capture us. Are you? 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 Yay. Oh no, we're dead. We died too many times. <laughs> <laughs> Might have to take his word for it, because this is the challenge. This is the hard level. believe in us to a point <laughs> you're not playing anymore what's that you're not playing anymore i am see now you are 
play like you're always playing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's like, See, like right now it doesn't feel like I'm playing. <laughs> it's like when you hand your younger sibling or cousin the controller and it's not plugged in and they think they're doing awesome. Okay, that's, get in there. Uh, that's, that's rude. <laughs> but you really don't, just don't want them to mess up your game. But you're actually playing and not them. Who is it? Is it me? Yeah, it's you now. Okay. Hooray! We get to test it! Now stay alive. Bump. No bump. Bump against me. Okay. Stay alive. Stay alive. Stay alive. Okay. What are we testing now? I thought we just that we can't it. pass each other. Yeah. We're... Yeah. I mean, that was instantly tested. <laughs> yes. Okay. So... Yay! <laughs> Okay, let's uh, go on to the next thing. Actually, we're still playing. But... Yay! <laughs> oh. oh. Okay. What else? Okay. Uh, on the start of stage one, challenge mode is displayed instead of challenge stage. should be able to go to challenge mode and then it should say challenge mode yeah instead of challenge stage at the start of other stages stage xx is displayed instead of challenge stage no i um, failed i did not succeed at the challenge you did, you did fail and you're gonna lose a ship and it's gonna be harder actually you lose a yeah you you lose you lose a ship when you do really bad you lose a life that's it. Sorry, what? Because you start with two ships, right? Uh -huh. And there's two levels of failure. I think you have to get 37 or more to keep your double ship. Why? And you lose one of your reserve ones. The only way you can advance without any penalty is perfect, doing it perfect. Because that's that's what this game is, this uh, mode of this game is all about. So what it is is you need to, again, have to have the machine near you so you can reset the moment that you <laughs> fail, because otherwise, why would you continue? Pretty, pretty it's just much. It's just, I think it's silly. No, no, if you have 37 I think, or more, I think it's you silly. keep the double ship. I think it's silly. I think you should, uh... This is really for advanced players. Yeah, what I'm saying is, yeah. It's like, But yeah, yeah it is, makes weird. it hard. It makes it really hard. Does it make it hard, or so just does it make it just stupid to continue? <laughs> it says ready to... Uh, okay. All... Like, it, like, it's impossible. It's impossible with one gun to Oh, I them see all. what you mean. It's literally impossible yeah. to continue, so you, you, why bother? You just, you might as well You're hit the reset You're just gonna die, them. die, die in a row, yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 Um... I didn't see this. Uh, start of stage one. Other stages, stage XX is displayed. Did it say that? Instead of challenge stage. I'm going to wait till the next one. Don't press the button. Carl G says harsh. Yeah, this is for that. This whole thing is... What I'm saying players. is that instead of you so being punished by losing uh, your second ship, yes, you, it should just go, oh, you failed, and you and can start you over. Yeah. Instead of like giving you a punishment which will literally... It's just delaying the inevitable, which is you can't continue. I think there might be a way to defeat these levels. Not on that person. one. Not the one with the dragonflies. <laughs> Probably. They're not. like separate. They're like this. You have to have two ships. Shooting both. Because you can't move back and forth quick enough to get uh, them. Right? Okay. St stages 1 through 8 are normal challenge stages. Stages 9 through 16 are mixed challenge stages that combine patterns from two. Stage 9 combines stage 1 and 2, stage 10, so it's a lot of different combinations now. And it goes right up to 99. Stage 17 to 24 are mixed from 3, 25 to 32 are from 4 different challenge stages, so it's really hard to memorize them after a while. Uh, and the game ends after stage 99. Good luck. <laughs> yeah, you have to be getting high scores and Twin Galaxies to get that, those kind of level, those kind of scores. Other fixes. Game ends after completing stage 99. Good luck with that. We can't test that. Not possible. <laughs> Not possible at all. 
Right now it just says game over. I'll probably add some better text like, congratulations, all your base belong to us. Or something along those lines. Some special ending. Oh. But you will only lose your reserve ship because you're doing pretty good. Get him, get him, get him. Get him. Yay. So because you got 37 or higher, just your reserve will go away. There you go, and then keep the double ship. So it's really maintaining a certain level of, of doing well. And this is where I fail too. Mostly because of the boss Galagas take two shots to hit. Um, fixed collision detection with enemy missile and ship. I noticed a few times that it would fly through the right side of your ship without killing you. Oh, you made it a little bit harder. Imp I suppose it says it's not impossible to shoot them all with one ship. Just really, really, really hard. But it probably goes hand in hand that if you're good enough to shoot them with you'll one get them ship, all with two, yeah. you'll definitely get them with two ships. But you can get back your double ship, I believe, at a certain level. I think if you get 37 or higher, you get back your double ship again. So it's for the advanced player that gets really high on this, gets really far, and then accidentally loses one ship, he can get it back again by doing really well. Um, so he has a to-do list. Make the novice skill easier, which is always good to have it really, really easy for novice. Um, right now it only has a few minor differences from standard. Add in a demo mode. Ooh, very cool. It's got enough room for a demo. Add in an option to have enemies shoot at more of an angle on higher levels to remove the safe zone in corners. Because I believe it was Nathan Strum or I supposed to that was doing really, really well on this game by hiding in the corners. It's certain it's certain spots. Like you could get away with it. Get. 34. Oh. I mean, that happens every time, anyway. <laughs> one, <laughs> one or the other goes away. Yeah. But you're level four. Doing better. Um, maybe include some of the challenge mode patterns option into the regular game starting at level 32 to mix things up a bit. Um, any feedback is appreciated. We're trying to nail down the manual, so feedback on major changes like co-op mode changes would be helpful. Yeah, the co-op modes are... it's brilliant. Um, I mean, there's a bit of confusion when you pass over each other, but that's un completely unavoidable. I have no idea how you could... you just have to keep track of yourself. And that happens with any game where there's two players that can cross over each other. I've got... I've... I've them all on this level with a single ship. Oh, it's so hard with one ship. I think. See, what I think is that you should have two modes. Like, two basically, basically modes. the, oh, you made a mistake and now it's harder <laughs> yes. is a mechanic that makes no sense to me. In games. Yeah, In games. It yeah. doesn't make any sense to go, oh, you weren't good enough to do it when it was easy. We're going to make it even harder for you now. That doesn't make any sense. Right. And if yes. you want a higher challenge level, just have one where you only get one ship. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm saying. Right. So maybe... I'm not... I'm not... I don't expect... Put... I don't expect changes to be made based on my opinion. There the game be. has history yeah. and the way this no, game is made... A, no, that's is, a new one. That's I know, a totally but, new like, mode. The game is made such that right. it is easier with two ships and it becomes harder when you lose yes. one and that's sort of normal. I, yeah. I'm just saying that, like, as a rule, I think, uh, oh, you're losing? Oh, lose more. Doesn't yes. make sense. He could put a novice challenge mode. So what you always sure. get two ships. Yeah. Right. Um, if he wants to. That seems like a very easy fix. It's just like one toggle on how it behaves when you lose. Yeah. Yeah. Or or, or yeah. just it, like... You always have two ships. Like always. Or it just resets if you get too far behind. <laughs> well, it's that's like, up oh, to you. Too bad. You just press the buttons. Yeah. That's essentially <laughs> what happens anyway. If you're trying to beat it... You would the do moment that. you lose the thing, you're going to restart. You would do that, yeah. If you're trying to get, like, the best score. Unless it's... Um, until you get super far in and you're just like, well... 
let's see. I've gotten can... as far. Let's see how far I can get. Yeah, just but... to get that extra level. Yeah. Um, some more. Uh, fixed a bug when the scoring screen wouldn't kill the bosses on difficulty level difficulty. Left difficulty A. Oh my god, I've forgotten what the left difficulty and right difficulty do. I know one is the way things fire. Like one is auto fire and you can turn off the auto fire. Oh, I can't remember what it is. Fixed a bug where an errant sound played before the Atari Age splash tune. Oh, I did. Fixed a screen roll on save key load during startup. Yeah, I didn't see any rolling. Fixed a bug where the initial high score table would always show the standard scores when loading from a save key, even if the skill was not standard. Okay. Mm. See, it, it has different... Yeah, yeah. Um, it'll show the proper scores based on the one you have selected to play. Now it works as you would expect. Yes. Before it didn't. Yeah. yeah. Split enemy delay is shorter for advanced, longer for novice. Split enemy. I guess when they split off from mm. each other, when they come in. Mm. Uh, split enemy delay gets shorter starting at level 17, so just harder. Uh, enemies fire more diagonally in higher levels. So they have a higher chance of hitting you on the side rather than the bullet only going a little bit. Yeah. S. Ramirez says uh, he he is shocked. He's been able to shoot them all with one single ship. That is pretty good. Um, so this is the updates for this particular one that I got today. Um, he said, I got feedback from Glenn and Steve. Steve? Steve. Is that you, S. Ramirez? I bet, if he's that good at... Um, <laughs> at killing things, I bet he's a good playtester. Glenn, that's what I don't he know. says. <laughs> yeah, oh, there we go. Uh, and made a few changes and bug, fi bug fixes, so here's the Bleeding Edge build. Uh, fixed an issue where the screen rolls when resetting the high score table with the save key plugged in, which I have not done because I like to keep my high scores. Um, which I think I got like 90,000 once. I don't think I beat the 100,000 yet. Fixed a bug where sometimes messages wouldn't appear when switching players. Oh, okay. That would be... Yeah, these are like edge cases. Like, something two things have to specifically happen at the same time. Yeah. Um, fixed a bug when it, we're in co-op mode. If your fighter escaped to the next level, when rescued, it would be tethered to your other ship. Oh, tethered okay. oh. as opposed to separate within co-op yeah right yeah. so you would be going back to like a normal play mode oh okay yeah that's that's a definite bug uh modify the logic so the ships don't swap control if a fighter ship escapes the level that was was causing the tethering bug oh mm. so if until when a fighter's been captured until it's been re recaptured they don't switch right because yeah. Technically, you're both there. You're both playing. It does switch when you die, though. Yeah. 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 That that's that makes sense, and that and that works totally fine, because your ship is going to come back in the next level, and there'll be two on the screen again. Um, that means the control will only change if the capture ship is destroyed or rescued, which is consistent with the rest of the game. Enemies now return to a closed formation after the ship is destroyed or captured. This was causing the message not appearing bug. Okay, so they all have to go back to the formation at the top, and they weren't doing that. Added a warning beep when the ships are about to change control in co-op mode. Novice only. Novice only? So it doesn't give you a warning beep if you're not in novice mode. Oh, That's interesting. Okay. That's f fine. You have to just pay more attention sure. to what's going on. Change the player 1 and 2 text to player 1 and 2. Spaces around the and. Ampersand. Not sure if it looks better. What do you think? Um, so let's... Um, oh no. Wrong mode. <clears throat> so let's go back to co-op. And go to uh, novice mode. Because that's when we start together. Um, so he had, I don't know, the spaces are pretty far. What do you think about the spacing? I have no feelings. You <laughs> have no feelings one way or the other. Um, they're pretty far apart. So I don't know. I would have to look, I'd have to load a, a previous build to take a look at that. Um, we will do that very, very last. 
which is, I think, the last thing we need to do. It should say it again on the screen after this. Or not. No. Only when it starts again. Okay. Let's see how far we can get in the last play of the game. Unless there's more fixes here. Kicking ass. No! Well, you gave control of one of the guns to me. What do you expect? <laughs> oh no! Oh no! Sure. <laughs> <laughs> so you have priority. No, I do. What? Oh, I do. For what? Blue is on top. Just in in terms of colors, who's who shows through. Free man! They're shooting at us now. Mm -hmm. They're shooting at us on the way in now. Yep. We're at that level. He said he was going to make this easier, so maybe he's going to delay that a little bit longer. Or delay... Oh! What? Um, when they flash like that, they, they turn into you. things. Oh. Thank you. And you want them to turn into things? Yeah, because you get more points. Oh. You have to shoot him. Oh! He's not going to capture us because he's the last guy. He's not going to go back into formation, which I think triggers. Mm. Uh, S. Ramirez says, I kind of like it without the warning makes you pay attention. Yeah, it, it does. And, I mean, it's only in novice mode. I don't think the, I don't think the, uh, the audible warning was particularly um, helpful for us so far. So <laughs> it I has no not been. Yeah, no, and, so it didn't do oh oh there you go see it changes into oh 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 and it switched so i killed one of them by running into it nice <laughs> player one yeah the audio warning you know you still have to pay good attention to it and we got lots of extra lives so i think that will let one of them capture us Try out the novice beep warning. Oh, we did. We're on novice. Because we're novice. So now I'm captured. Now it won't switch back to me. You Here. have to rescue me. Here, you just do it. Because I have yet to shoot uh, the capture guy once. Oh, yeah? And this guy needs to be shot twice. Oh, I see. Yes, he does. That's not that's how you what, do it. That's what I would have done. <laughs> oh, oh, another chance. There we go. Get to use my own joystick, which is not good for this game because the button is so... Oh, you do like the sound. Yeah, it's a good sound. It's just beep, beep, beep. There we go. Put the coffee away, Darcy. Yeah. You have at least a few seconds before you've wasted the captured ship. <laughs> <laughs> ah! They're fast on this level. They come down at you. I'm really glad that you uh, uh, don't run into each other because yes, there we go. Because that would make it very limiting on the screen. Oh my goodness! I started firing at the wrong time, I guess. Uh, if you fire at the wrong time, then your bullets uh, right through it. Well, no, they they fly up into nowhere, and you don't have bullets when they show up, right? Oh, yes. Yeah, they do. Yeah. You only have limited limited bullets. And when you shoot and You only hit have two. And when you, shoot, when you hit something, you get them back. Yeah, See, immediately. Look. No, you can't shoot right now. But it, it, I'm pretty sure it's two. I think it's two? Yeah. yeah yep. Two. It's two, and you get them back one at a time as soon as it hits something. There we go. So somehow future bullets know what past bullets do. <laughs> they're like, no. No, I will not. Your turn! Oh. Ah, I will not fire until my brethren have disappeared or fulfilled fulfilled their destiny. Your turn! Ah! <laughs> See, that's the new uh, sound effect. The ah! new warning. It's a post... It's not a warning. It's a, it's a warning that you missed it. 
I tend to stay in the corners until they're all out, at least while you can. Well, if you want the big points, that's what you do, because you get... Oh, no, no, no. Oh, no. Woo! Because the game almost more, ended right there. You get more points when they're flying. It was your control. <laughs> but I didn't hear the... Ah, it's your turn! Oh. Uh, warning that uh, Atari Box does. So let's check out the player one and two spacing and see what we prefer. Sure. Um, yeah, we're gone. Go back just a little bit because I'm not sure when he changed that. So we can give an opinion and help him out a bit because I don't think we were able. I mean, we liked the uh, the co-op mode advance. It was uh, fine like updates. that. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. It was fine like that, but I I, I have a suspicion I'm gonna like it better together because it just seems so. The, the kerning is too far apart. The spacing is too too much. Too much. Too much. Do it better. Yeah, get good. <laughs> there we go. Got it. Let's go down. No, I did press it. it. Didn't hold I it did, in fact, hold it. I held it. Not long enough. I can't. Uh, I cannot have held it longer. The thing was on. <laughs> like I, I'm telling you, I was holding the button. That's the, all the I can tell you. The system disagrees. So the let's system go is stupid. To the O3, yeah. You don't know. <laughs> you just don't know. It's binary. I was pressing the button. There might be something wrong with your joystick. Like sometimes when I die because I press the button. Poss possibly. Okay. So does it have to be the other one? Yes. Oh, it has to be novice. Yeah. Oh, no, we have to go back one build. Because oh. it was like the only, it was only in between on one thing. Yeah, yeah. Okay. That's okay. So this one is the 0821 uh, build. <laughs> Very long. Extraordinarily long. Which one? 21. 21. It sorts them by date created, not by alphabetical, which I don't know about that. Because <laughs> I guess it assumes that, uh, no, there we go. It assumes that you're transferring it over. I like that way better. Way, 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 way better. Yeah, they're both fine. They're together. Yeah, I this, think this is... this. Yeah, I like this one a little better. Yeah. It's just a little cleaner. The other one's just too spaced out. Um, and, I mean, if you had an option to do half spacing, but I don't think that's the way it's going to work because of the way players are eight characters wide and you can't just do that. Um, yeah, I would go for this if, if the choice between. What does everybody else think? Uh, of the spacing of the player one and two. I took that one for the team. <laughs> the spaces or right up against each other. Oh, I suppose turning off auto fire lets you shoot more quickly between shots. You can fire the next round shot more quickly. Okay. Against. Against what? That is not an opinion. You mean against each other? <laughs> I am against it. I'm against it all. You can't have any of that. Uh, spacing. He's against spacing? Okay. Yeah. Yeah, me he too. Likes this one, yeah. Yeah. Okay. We're we good. like it better in the old days when they were together. That's right. When the in the old days for how many days? Like one day? For a how whole many? three days. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so we're going to move on to our challenge game. Crackpots. Oops. It's no challenge at all. See if I can get this working first time. Nope. So this is this your Atari then? Doing this? Yeah. No, it's the cartridge because it's ancient. It's from 1983. 35 years old. 
That's the problem. There we go. Are you playing already? Oh my god. Okay. So this is Crack Pots. It's from 1983. Really like the look of the spiders in their movement. Yeah, this game is incredibly well programmed. Um, in terms of sound, in terms of animation, the graphics, I mean... So, so well done by Dan Kitchen. Uh, this was released May 16th, uh, 1983. It's a 4K game and really beautiful for a 4K game. Um, other games Dan Kitchen has made, uh, Crackpots, Ghostbusters, Kung Fu Master, which is also an awesome game. Uh, F14, oh Tomcat, Crossbow, River Raid 2, Dra Double Dragon, and Akari Warriors. Some of these games you would never think could ever be made on the uh, Atari 2600. Yes, Ramirez, need to have Dan sign my card at PRGE. There you go. Mine is a terrible looking Crackpots card. I don't know if I'd want him to sign that, that terrible looking cartridge. Um, okay, so the score that we have to get on Crackpots to get the, the patch is 75,000 points, which is a lot. It's a lot of points. Um, I did watch a video of somebody doing very well on this, and they got 75,000 points in nine minutes. So that is kind of the judge of how long. So you it have take. seven minutes to get it done. <laughs> I have seven minutes to get it done. I have to get it done in seven minutes when oh, they get it done in nine? I don't know. <laughs> no, they reached 75,000 in nine minutes. So that's about how long it would take. Playing well. And I'm pretty sure you figured out the game because there's not much to it. <laughs> Squish the Spiders. So Crackpots is an Atari 2600 game designed by Dan Kitchen and published by Activision in 1983. It was Kitchen's first game for Activision. He later did a number of ports. This is from Wikipedia. Wikipedia. He later did a number of ports to the 2600, including arcade games, Kung Fu Master, and Double Dragon. In Crackpots, the player controls Potsy, a gardener. Potsy's Brooklyn building is being overrun by bugs, trying to climb inside six different windows. And for some reason, you're killing all of the spiders who, just for the record, would have cured your bug problem. <laughs> That's right. If you'd left them alive. Yep. Which is why I am choosing not to kill the spiders. <laughs> it's very noble of you <laughs> to sacrifice the building <laughs> itself. Uh -huh. So you got 34. And you'll do better this time because you know a little bit better how to I do won't it. do much better because it gets real hard real quick. It does. The spider's movements get erratic and fast. And you can kill the spiders as they're climbing out along the ground, even though that's very hard to do because they're very fast. Um, the player moves Potsy back and forth along the roof to drop pots on the bugs before they can get close enough to enter the windows. Um, so it's not really the plants that you're protecting. It's the, 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 the building. spiders getting in the building and, and overrunning the building themselves. And we've got uh, Dan Kitchen in the chat, so we're very, very lucky to have three out of the four people that are the developers of these games. And John Champeau, um, maybe he's lurking in there, but he was working on the game <laughs> just be while we were playing, while we were doing it. But he's under the gun. He has a lot of things to do for the Portland Retro Gaming Expo. Multiple, multiple games. Um, he's got Galagon, he's got Wizard of War. He's got a ton of demos that he's going to be showing off as well. So he has to get those up to speed. He's going to be um, showing off Zookeeper. Um, he's going to try and get uh, Zookeeper ready for the show. Do you get bonus points for killing two at once? I bet you do. I so bet you do. Let's, um, so the world record for this game is held by David Yancey. Uh, it was set in 2003. It is 520,000 points, which I'm sure at that uh, level is really, really fast. 
Oh, and then it loops back to the easy black spiders again. But they're slightly faster this time. Um, and that's on Twin Galaxies. On Highscore.com, it's 119,250. Held by K-E-I-L-B-A-C-A. -A. And Highscore.com. High Highscore! Woo! We just got... Oh, I missed it. Um, and Highscore.com is more of a community high score um, um, website. And uh, Twin Galaxies is more run by Twin Galaxies, and they verify it by volunteers. Uh, over 500,000, he should have a special patch. Yes, he definitely should uh, get a special patch. Uh, S. Ramirez 2008 says, anticipating your next Gold Rush newsletter. Yes. It'll be hot off the presses in a few days. Oh, and, and Dan, do you have any plans for um, Portland Retro Gaming Expo in terms of Gold Rush? Are you going to be bringing a demo, or um, are you attending? Um, are you going to be uh, talking talking there? Because I know you've been doing a, a, a number of uh, different um, uh, gaming expos. To get red, to get the red ones, move two windows over from where the bugs start climbing. Mm. Okay, that's a good, um, a good hint. So we're gonna open, we're gonna take a look at the manual, start reading that. I think that uh, is totally true when uh, you have some building left. <laughs> <laughs> that is true. <laughs> but when you have no building left, maybe reduce down to one. <laughs> yeah, I was just, I was trying to get ahead of adjust, them, but I, I had not clued into the, that it was two yet. Adjust as necessary. <laughs> nice insider info. Um, here you go. If you want to start reading. I don't have conf high confidence in me getting the patch today in this. I did play this game as a kid a lot because my friend had this game. But really, I've not played it since the 80s. Or, well, no, I've, that's not a lie. I played it in the 90s um, when I um, used to play the Atari a lot. Because um, that's when I started uh, collecting it, was in the early 90s. Hmm. Um, when it was in all the... Uh, discount bins? Discount bins, when they were all a dollar or 50 cents, and you could just... Well, that's the best time to get stuff, is when it, oh. when it's kind of it's not old enough to be like cool it's just old yes yeah um and that's where i built up like all, almost all my collection of uh 2600 games we're infested a bug wait it's activision crackpots pest control ah, handbook approved by brooklyn block association we're infested. A bug barrage is swarming out bug of the barrage. sewer, chomping away at every building in town. Entire neighborhoods are now crumble piles. Crumble oh. piles. Crumb piles. Crumb Sorry, piles. crumb piles. That's still funny. Crumb piles. <laughs> <laughs> Over in Brooklyn, Potsy the roof gardener oh is defeating his really is def defend defeating his beloved building. I think that's supposed to be defending, but it says defeating his beloved oh. building with his only weapon, potted petunias. Pot. Oh, the alliteration, Dan. Oh, my god. Be goodness. a good neighbor. Uh, Help him take pot shots at the, pot at the insect shot. invaders. Quick! When too many bugs crawl into the windows, they'll start eating you out of house and home. Mostly out of house. Yeah, the actual house. Because home is where the heart is. Oh. And, and they're not eating your heart, so. Uh... Basic bug bashing. Insert game cartridge into your video game console with power off. Oh, what? Then turn power on. Plug in joystick ah, controller ah, slash ah. S. Solo player uses left joystick. The difficulty, the difficulty switches are not used. Select game with game select switch. Oh my god. Game one, one player. Game two, two players taking turns. The joystick controller is held with the red button in the upper, le in the upper left position to move potsy left or right push the joystick left or right <laughs> to push the pot over the ledge press the red button when potsy is standing behind it to begin a new game press the game reset you'll hear the pitter patter of tiny bug feet rising up through the sewer take a breath and get ready here they come bugs coming with dan did you write the copy for it probably not 
That's lots of alliteration and terrible puns and bugs come in waves. The first wave is black. Then colors progress to red, to blue, red, and green. There are twelve bugs in each wave. When you make it through the green wave, oh the cycle will repeat. However, then you'll be at the next level, and all bugs will move faster. They Actually, will. I apologize. That last That's... word should not have been yelled. There was no exclamation mark. Not even two. Not Trust even one. Me. Let alone two. <laughs> Terrible. Six bonus bugs are displayed below the sewer at the beginning of each wave. Whenever a bug slithers into a window, a bonus bug will disappear. From this, from this display, whenever a bug slithers into a window, a bonus bug will disappear from this display. When six bugs have crawled into the windows, all six, damn it, damn it, all six bonus bugs will be gone, and your joystick's red button won't release any more flower pots. Then one of the crawlers will chew up a layer of your building, and you'll repeat the wave at a slower level. The game ends when the creepy crawler when the creepy crawlers have gobbled up six layers of the building. Scoring. Picture of screen omitted. And this is where I die. Uh, and then there's a, a grid of expo of uh, points. I'm not going to explain it. Courtesy of Activision Marketing. Yeah, did not write the copy. Thank goodness. No, I didn't write the copy. That's it's funny. good. It's funny. I like the puns and silliness. Bonus bugs. 200 points are awarded for each bug bug oh. print remaining at the end of every wave. Damn it. Bugs of many colors. The bugs crawl up the wall in four different directions depending on their color. Black bugs, black <laughs> bugs go straight up. Blue bugs wiggle side to side. Red bugs crawl diagonally. Green bugs zigzag between two windows. Oh, and it does show that the red bug path starts at one and moves over two mm. and that the, the green, green one goes between the two yeah no bonus that's that's the problem oh my god i can't even get there the buildings it's one of those games that punish you for for continuing onward because yeah. now you have less time to drop th drop the pots on the on the bugs and you don't ever i believe get your building back no. I mean, what? Wh how would what? How would that work? How would the bugs destroy your building? <laughs> ah. Well, that we can tell that the bugs are destroying the building because we see them destroying the building. Yes. But since the bugs are not like there is no mechanic in the game to rebuild the building, we have to go. Okay, well that makes sense because you don't spontaneously build more building. Yeah. And somehow these spiders are in cahoots with that other bug. Because it's a different bug that destroys <laughs> destroys the building than are the ones that crawl into the building. Yeah, I don't think any of these are supposed to be spiders. Oh, okay. Did it name them? They're just bugs. They're just general bugs. Just call them bugs. Yeah, just bugs. Don't, don't want to defame any specific bugs. Getting the feel of crackpots. Becoming a seasoned crackpot doesn't a seasoned crackpot doesn't just happen oh, after one day in the big city. Woo! <laughs> Disturbing the cats. <laughs> you woke the cat up. Becoming a seasoned crackpot doesn't just happen after one day in the big city. You need ah. a, you need to stick around for a while and practice. For starters, ah. hang out with Potsy. Check out his speed and style. Develop a sense of timing based on the speed and direction of the bugs at the time it takes at the speed and direction of the bugs and the time it takes for a petunia to fall. This will vastly improve your accuracy at pitching a plant at just the right time. These, these, the green ones, that's my death. That's of course, my death. They are, they are They're the tricky. hardest. Well, they are the last ones before the black ones again, so. How many points do you need? Seventy something? Seventy thousand. Seventy five thousand. Good luck. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Good luck indeed. But I think with like combos and like I'm just not getting the bonuses anymore because uh, uh, I can't even make it back and forth. Yeah. Oh, the, end, the end is nigh. Mistakes there. The end is nigh. The end is nigh. The end is nigh. Yeah. Like I maybe I'll make this level, but this level, this is probably where I'm gonna die. If I'm, and then I'll definitely die on the next one. Ah, 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 nope, nope, don't have any, nope. Ran out of 
bugs. The supervisor said there's too many bugs. Is this it? Oh my god, I can still go. Ah, ah, no! That is it. S. Ramirez says, I've never made it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm still going! Oh my god, the building gets really tiny. The first bug in every wave starts climbing under the second window. <gasps> dun dun dun! Okay. Now this is it. Yeah. 32. Not it's, even halfway. But it's it's not bad for a first game. It's when terrible for a first. And I haven't played in. I like can't 20 believe years. how terrible you played. <laughs> no, you do it. <laughs> uh, Dan, do you have a copy of Crackpots and or Patch? I do have a copy. Not sure where my patch is. Bugs. He says bugs. They're just general bugs. Did you make it through all the instructions? I didn't. Okay. Well, then that's your job if you're not playing. Yeah, yeah, here. <laughs> Give it. Every time I started to talk, though, you'd be like, Oh, God, I need to have a run! <laughs> I see. I see, I see, I see. So I need okay. to know how to get the scores, get the big scores. Is it the combo? Is there bug combos that I'm missing? Obviously. Sorry, I'm talking. I'm talking. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you just saw it. Meh, 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 meh. I don't think there's any combos for getting multiple at the same time. No, no. they're just... These ones are 20 each. Okay. Well, the, the other ones are worth more each. I'm not going to pause then. It's all about that, right? Yeah. Did I just miss one? On this level? The bonus of hitting two at a time is that you hit two yeah. at a time. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's all that the bonus is. Oh. Join the activation crackpots! If you help Potsy pitch pots at pest for points, totaling 75,000 or more, no. you've been more than a good neighbor. Damn it. Damn it. Consider yourself an official act activation crackpot. Send us a photo of the TV screen showing your qualifying score along with your name and address, and we'll send you the official crackpot emblem. Be sure to write the name crackpots and your score on the bottom corner of the envelope. I There's will. a bug in the house! <laughs> Most people aren't too disturbed by insects crawling in the woods and wilds. Let one appear in the parlor, however, in the parlor, however, and a frenzy sets in. Yet, like us, these tiny creatures are nature's handiwork, and as cohabitants of planet Earth, perhaps we should all get to know each other. Roaches are old timers. Human existence began one million years ago. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> more like two million years ago or yeah, even, even more, more. We're getting further and further for back. homo for homo yeah yeah and if you're going with uh, oh what and if you're going for homo sapiens then it's something dan didn't write like it 250 so he's okay it's okay <laughs> All right, uh, blah, blah, blah. While roaches have been around for 300 million years, if you're wondering what to serve a roach for dinner, they'll eat most foods, in the pantry or in the garbage. But did you know they will also they also like glue, watercolor paints, and stale beer? Oh, okay. I did. No, I didn't know that. But I knew that uh, silverfish like glue. Yeah, and Fleas. dust and paper. Yeah. Well, actually, it's the oh glue. My God. It's not the paper, it's the glue. Is it the glue? I think so. That's what I heard, anyways. And that's why they like boxes and what? stuff, is ah, because ah, the boxes have oh glue. My. Oh my God, that was terrible. Yeah. It was finding I, out that silverfish like glue. It just threw me for a loop, that, that silverfish fact. Yeah. <laughs> The, the blue ones are no different than the black ones, which is wonderful. It's, the rest of it is terrible. Terrible, torturous. Difficult. Fleas are the high jumpers of the planet. They can leap up to 50 times their height. Just, just a bunch of bug facts? We'd there? have to jump up to 300 feet to compa <laughs> compa compete with that. Clothes, clothes moths love wool, but did you know that they eat your sweaters before they become moths? <laughs> 
Their mother moth leaves ah. her eggs on your clothes and rugs, oh and when they hatch, baby caterpillars emerge. That's who does the eating. In their wing state, they are unable to eat. Spiders are not insects. They are arachnids. Insects have six legs. Spiders have eight. A spider in the house is a friend indeed. If you can tolerate, if you can tolerate their presence and don't run them the wrong way. Oh, I like spiders in the house. They will do no harm. Allow them to spin their gentle webs. Gentle webs. They're not gentle. They're just on your side. And they get in, they get in your face. I read your house of many <laughs> insect pests. How to become the neighborhood crackpot. Tips from Dan Kitchen, designer of crackpots. Oh, it's straight from Dan. This is real copy. Unless they faked it. <laughs> Dan Kitchen grew up in the family of game designers and computer pros. Gary and Steve are his brother designers. It's no wonder that he was designing games right out of high school in 1979. In his spare time, he plays folk guitar, tinkers with electronics, and jogs. You tinker with jogs in addition to electronics? <laughs> The irony is, I hate insects! <laughs> well, that's appropriate for the game, really, because you're killing the insects. Crackpots is a game that requires balance, advanced planning, good uh, aim, and the ability to remain calm when things appear hopeless. Uh, yeah. So far, that has been the weak point. Yes. <laughs> it's, Follow it's, these tips and you, you'll soon be smashing a smashing success. Play the sidewalk. That is, try to hit the bugs while they're crawling along the sidewalk or when they're just coming out of the sewer. Yeah. The closer they get to the windows, the less time you'll have to react. When you're up in the higher levels, the, bug will crawl, the bugs will crawl too fast for you to get them all. You're better off playing, say, three selected windows in the middle. It's okay if a few crawlers get in on the extreme left mm, or right. That's you have what only to get seven out of twelve bugs to go to the next level. Yep. That's true. That is Notice that true. the red bugs end up two windows away from where they begin their, di their diagonal climb. And while the building is still pretty high, the green bugs will end up at the window over the spot they started from below. Mm, can't keep track of that. Keep this in mind and you'll soon be dropping the right pot at the right time. Oh my god. Then if you still can't stamp out bugs, you can always buy the original. Inner City Bug Killer. What? Original? Then, if you off? still can't stamp out bugs, you can always buy the original Inner City Bug Killer, a pair of shoes with pointed toes. Oh, I thought you know it was what a I mean? game called Inner City Bug Killer. <laughs> it's like, oh, that sounds interesting. Know what I mean? Drop me a line if you do. God bless. I don't know what you mean. <laughs> it's a shoe, <laughs> smashing, instead of pots. Why does it have to have pointed toes? Oh, because it's easier to grab? Oh my god, these green ones would be the death of me. Picture of Dan Kitchen and Signature omitted. Because <laughs> it's, it's HTML. Um, uh, Let us manual. get to know you. If you have questions or comments about our games or clubs or want to be added to our mailing list, drop us a note or call the game hotline. Toll free, 800-633-GAME. In California, please call 415-940-6044-5. Activision Inc. Drawer... Drawer number 7287. Drawer. Mountain View, California, 94039. Atari 2600 and video computer systems are trademarks of Atari Inc. Never heard of a drawer. Copyright 1983 drawer. Activision AX029-03. Printed in the U.S.A. <laughs> I have successfully read it all. Congratulations on your accomplishment. I accomplished it. I don't think you're going to make it through this one. Have you been playing the sidewalk game? Uh, no, I have not. Are you playing the middle two? Three? Uh, no. Uh, it's the end. Did I do worse? Did I do better? Oh, still playing. Did somebody record my <laughs> first score? Are they making fun of me? <laughs> no, they're just laughing at the old copy. Oh. Have to play the middle. Play the middle. If you can. You get two easy levels, and then you get hard levels. I think that you are. Yeah. So I want it. Too far away. You don't have to get them all. You have to get enough for bonuses, but yeah, actually, you only to... To, to keep it from taking forever. You need to get enough for bonuses, but you only need to kill seven of them in order to 
Only seven. Okay. Because you have six bonus ones. Right. And when the lot when they're all gone, then you have a problem. That is very true. Because your building gets down, and that is how you die. That's how you lose lives. It's the beginning of the end. It's the end of the block as you know it. And you won't feel uh, fine. Use pointed shoes to get into ah, corners. Ah, <laughs> get it. Now I understand, and I will always understand. Can you type my score? What is Please your score? 3558. 35580. I'm not sure what my last one was. Uh, it was slightly lower than that, I believe. I think so. In fact, I know it was, because this is half of 70, and you weren't even half of 70 before. Uh, and you need 75. And I remember okay. doing the quick math and being all like, nay! Nay on you, yes. And this is one of those games where... Oh, the one... What? No, Dan was lying. That one in the third window. Not the second one. Uh-huh. So it's not always goes in the second window. The first bug. Uh, but it might be when you get a new wave, not when the game starts. I don't know. That could be true. So this should go on the first... There we go. Two at once. Play the sidewalk game. I just like dropping a bunch of pots all over the place. Because in the early levels you can do that because they're not so fast. You just drop a bunch on your way over. But in the yeah, in the levels, early levels no when you don't need to do that, you can. <laughs> <laughs> See, the bug, the red one starts climbing on the second window, but that's not where he ends up. No, no, that's not what he said. He said where they start. Right. Did. That's not good on these shame, early levels. Shame. Shame upon my family. The green ones I'm I'm having trouble with because I seem to only be able to time them when they're right at the top. Not when they're on their first kind of move over. Go away, bugs! And he, and he said they're not spiders, they're just general bugs. Yep. Right? Yeah. Bugs and, you and don't want in your the, house. The rule book um, confirmed what I said mm -hmm. about the spiders being your friends. And, uh, oh, yes. That's true. So they wouldn't, they wouldn't make them spiders. I mean, if you look at them, they actually look more like crabs than spiders. Yeah. Well, they'd have to be a creature that can climb the walls. Uh, <laughs> no! I'm panicking. You can't panic. It's true. But you made it. I did. I mean... To the next level. Yeah. Not, not with a good amount of points, but I made it. See, that's what I gotta do. Get those green ones halfway up. Because then the green ones won't be such my nemesis. Not a lot of leeway. Well, there, actually, there is a little bit of leeway. More so than other early games for 2600. In terms of being where you have to position yourself. Oh, yeah, yeah. I found it to be just generous enough that I got sl uh, lazy. Yeah. <laughs> Some games are like unforgiving. Like, pixel perfect. You have to position yourself. Yeah. And then you're like, no, that's too hard. Oh, God. Oh, no. <laughs> Out. No, it's too early. It's too early. Now the pain is worse. Ah! Oh, don't panic. Do not panic. Sticker ones. Okay. Yes. Yes. Not getting the hang of it. Now I'm a little lower, so the the pattern is a bit lower mm. that I have to drop it on to the green ones. So Dan, was this game conceived out of your hate of bug, hate your your distaste of bugs? <laughs> is it because you proclaimed it in capital letters in the chat that you were like, I hate bugs. 
So it makes sense. Oh god. I keep forgetting like it's the red ones when it is the red ones turn and then because their pattern is so different yeah. than all the rest. Yeah. The other ones stay over a window. More or less. Oh my god. They're making it easy on me and I'm making it harder on myself because they all came up in two windows. Oh my god, that was almost a giveaway and I fail. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely have the hardest um, time with the green ones. Got three with that one. Mm -hmm. No bonus for doing it. Oh, it's distracting me. The one's on the side. It's okay. So fast now. Does it slow down when you die? Yep. When you That's what I thought. Because it's like it gets super super fast and then it's like it's somewhat easier. unlike some games where when you <laughs> die it gets harder <laughs> <laughs> yes it is nice and it's the same with kaboom um it's actually a strategy to die in kaboom yeah. which is i don't think i'll ever get the patch for kaboom it's just so hard oh god 550. Oh, here's the link to the original TV commercial. Ooh, we'll have to play that we gotta after. see that. Yeah. I don't think I've seen the commercial for this. Maybe not. Maybe when the game was out. But not since. Yay. That was pretty successful green. Nope. Nope. It's distracting me. Yep. Yep. Not on purpose. I'm sure there's no... It's all very, very random. What was distracting you? Like putting one spider, like putting it on either side mm -hmm. to make you um, go really far and then miss miss some that are near you or miss some in the middle. Ah, buttons. How do they work? <laughs> Fast. Play the sidewalk game. <laughs> it does. You do have to pause to play the sidewalk game. Now that's the problem. fast they're not they're faster crawling up than they are walking along the sidewalk so ah I just made it just barely yeah yeah sure yeah sure <laughs> uh, no at least they'll slow down I guess now play the level a little bit. Mm. More. Yeah, 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 good luck. No, 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 no. Sidewalk, kill them on the sidewalk. Kill them in the streets. <laughs> <laughs> ah! 
No! 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 Damn it! S. Ramirez has to run. Bye, S. Ramirez. Thanks for stopping in and watching the show. Damn it. Damn it. No! Something completely uh, red. Yeah. Now death. Come on. Yes. Oh my God. No. <laughs> to be the easy level. Fifty thousand. Mm -hmm. Fifty thousand six sixty. Mm -hmm. Oh my god. We're gonna take a short break and look at the commercial. Because that's pretty cool. And my wrist needs a little rest. <laughs> um so I'm getting closer and now I feel that I might be able to do it it's only twenty five thousand more and you get points on the earlier levels it's only 50 percent more than what i got last time 50 percent oh, more than what you have now take half what you have now and add that on yeah yeah but if you do better on the early levels you get a lot of the bo more bonuses yeah. right because it, yeah. it doesn't scale up as no. you go does it it's no it gets harder and harder straight. I'm mean, in points. In points. Anyway. Points get harder and harder. Is what I'm saying. Yeah. The get. points don't scale up. You get the same amount, but you have to try harder for the same amount. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so let's take a look at this commercial while my wrist. Nope. Stop. We want to look at it, not just hear it. There we go. <laughs> Rewind it. There. No. Stop don't, it. Don't autoplay. There we go. Okay. So here's the commercial for Crackpots. Oh, put some sound on. That's going to be probably pretty loud. I'll just keep it quiet. First. Hey, you, you believe this? Me and my sewer bug buddies is having this city for dinner. Then this hotshot crackpot, he starts tossing flower pots, knocking us off like we're like flies. So I send in more guys. He throws more punch. We eat a floor. <laughs> you know, oh. I think he's having fun up here. Crackpots for the Atari 2600s. I did. Pretty, Im Activision. Pretty impressive commercial. Actually, yeah. the whole building came yep. down behind him. Yep. Like it's a good. Uh, a very good representation of the game like obviously uh, Activision games are really really well made and very colorful and uh, and Dan did an amazing job on the game um, to make it look awesome um, but uh, games back then when you saw commercials and then you actually played the game you're like oh this isn't as good as the commercial made it out to be but that is a very good representation of it um, okay, we're back at it, and I need to get more points in the beginning because when you get to the end, you're not going to get those little bonuses. Techmoan in your uh, YouTube recommends. Yes, Techmoan and 8 bit guy. Um, I watch a lot of very, very geeky <laughs> stuff about retro, um, retro uh, hardware which only makes sense, I would think. Hopefully your best offer on the house is the best offer. Somebody selling their house? Oh, ground troopers selling their house? We made an offer, and we told them we, we were told they already had one. But a couple later, they want our best offer. So I've been dealing with that. So you're pretty close, or they're just trying to drive you up a bit. Are they allowed to lie? I you think know. the uh, realtors... Like, do they get any punishment for saying, oh, somebody's, they definitely manipulate. somebody's bidding against you and you should really, you know, up your, up your bid. Cause when I we, get... when we bought our house, our realtor and their realtor 
were like, oh, well, they have another offer, but if you accept this counter offer, we won't even look at that one. And I was like, <laughs> like huh? that, like what you're saying sounds like pro me, <laughs> but why would the other realtor be pro me? You, no, you know, like the other realtor wants as much money. Well, oh, not... they, but they what they what what they said is, oh, you know, we work with each other all the time, and this is just how it works. <laughs> and I'm like, well, <laughs> thanks for letting me know not to use you if you're gonna rip exactly. me when I'm selling. I don't want somebody exactly. who's like making a when I'm buying oh, I'm the wrong to decision guys. for when me. I'm selling, I'm going to somebody else. <laughs> That's um, what made me think. With realtors, it's a balance between getting a lot of money. And which is a not very, spending much time. Which is a very small concern of theirs. Um, because spending, they only get a tiny percentage of it. Yeah. So if you if they get you 10000 more, the amount they get is a very nothing. small amount of it's, that. It's and nothing. so it's not worth their time to try and get that out. They want yeah. deals fast. Yep. Yeah. Like that is their only concern. So yeah. that's what you have to think about when going into because both But between us, we have bought a number of houses and it's always that. It's an illusion. Yeah. Okay, uh, I'm going to do one more attempt, I think, unless I go get really, really close and I'm really upset <laughs> that I got really close. But but my increases have been very good, I think, um, which is encouraging. Okay, look at that, 50, 6, 60. Oh, we get off on tangents all the time. Um, okay, so if you could start up the game for me, please. So I don't miss Ready? the first red uh, black spider. Yes, please. Cool. Yeah, he always starts. The first one always starts there. But was he on the second window? He was on the third one. Oh. As you said last time. But yeah. like I said, the next one started on the second window, like he said. So it's yeah. like the first one doesn't go there. But the new waves. The new waves, yeah. So 1320 is the best you can get on a level? Or... The best you can get on a black spider level? I don't know. Can you read the... Oh. oh, no, the black spider level is not worth as much because they aren't worth as much. Okay. I can't. <laughs> it's locked down. I do not have access. No, it's pretty consistent. Oh, no. That's a bit more. The bonus might be the same. Oh. But the per spy per bug is not the same. Oh, damn it. The these bugs are worth more. Okay. Which they should be, because they're bloody hard. Yeah, they seem to be worth those ones are forty, I think. And these seem to be worth twenty. And then Damn, seventy-five thousand. What? I didn't get that. Don't type that in there. No, that's what I'm, that's what we're aiming for. Yeah. And I'm getting better. You're ten percent there. <laughs> I only have to do ten times as much. Yeah, the Not bonus. The long. bonus is the same. Doesn't matter which spider type. Okay. So it's and all 1200 about bonus. Just getting bonus. Uh, but the. 1,200, a max of 1,200, because it's 200 per. Okay. Fudge. Duckers. Fudge duckers. <laughs> that sounds bad. Whoa, triple green. Yeah. Worth just as much as killing them individually. <laughs> but it's very satisfying. Oh boy, oh boy, I'm falling behind on the black here. But I didn't let one slip by. It's throwing me off, it's getting me to go over the far corners. Luckily it's still slow enough, I can still manage it. No! Not many there. Uh, 
Ag. Ah. Two bonus. These fast black spiders. Oh, I had to let two in there because they're just. Did say concentrate on the middle three. There's no middle three. Middle four. <laughs> Be very, very early. early, very early. Oh my god, it's not dropping. Missing all this early bonus. Oh my god. Damn it. Damn it. Damn it. At least you made it through. Yeah. Problem with the green ones is if you drop it too early, you, you don't, don't get, get it back. Chance. You yeah. don't get yeah. There's no there's no second chance. Okay, yep. Just in time. I should be ready that for the second window always. Yep. Second window. That doesn't help on this wave at all. Oh my god. Terribleness. I love how they finish up. It's like, uh, you don't have any more. <laughs> they just zoom right in. And I have to do the whole wave over again. But at a slower speed. At a slower speed. With yeah. a smaller wall. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if a smaller wall helps me at all. But... No, it doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> I was just being clear that it wasn't. <laughs> it wasn't it a wasn't, bonus. It wasn't easier. It was just a slower uh, speed. It's might be easier, but it's not. No. <laughs> oh my god. Good run there. Not a bad level. Oh, the, I always forget the red ones. Uh, oh, it's a hint? A helpful? No, no. no. Okay. It's trivia, which will not be helpful because you're, uh, you'd be distracted by it. Okay, <laughs> be distracted from the trivia. <laughs> <laughs> It'll throw you off. It'll make your game worse. Uh, ah! Ah! <laughs> Talking makes your game worse. It does. Yeah. I know. That's why I wasn't going to tell you. Good. Oh, my God. Oh, no. Passed it. Nope. <laughs> Not that. Oh. are hard to come by in these top levels. Yep. Oh. Oh. This game is worse. Worse! <laughs> Maybe they're just getting too fast and I needed to go down a wall. <laughs> I am panicking now. <laughs> it's not helping. I need a new mantra of no, don't panic. Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. It's not working. Oh. Does it get even slower? Like if you die twice in a row? Because it seems like extra slow now. Yeah, I don't know. Which is good, because I made it.
Yeah, I guess you could determine what level it would, like, even though it changes depending on whether you've, uh, you know, lost a, lo lost a building level or not. Right. And you could rate the levels by how many levels you've gone, how many waves you've had without losing a building. Yeah. And so you're at X difficulty level. Mm -hmm. Like, it, because... The longer you're at your full height, the quicker they're moving. Yep. And so that would be relevant anyways. Yeah. And you never want to intentionally lose a life because there's no, no strategy in that. Oh. Just to slow it down. Because yeah. you're it's going to slow down. It's going to, yeah. You whenever wanna... you lose a life. And that's just yeah. going to happen yep. naturally. Okay, I'm going to do one more. And that's, that's it. <laughs> do it. Yeah. Oh, it's three o'clock. Oh, geez. Yeah, well, it won't take more than five minutes. <laughs> so it won't take more than nine minutes. Five, nine minutes, yeah, because then <laughs> I would actually get a high score. If you could reset it for me, please. Mm -hmm. Yeah, third one. I think it is the, the third first one. one is the third. The first bug is the third one. We've gone over this. <laughs> I think you but keep deleting have... the information. The but first deleting... bug is I'm... the third, but the second window is the additional waves. I'm, I'm just reconfirming it, that, that we have seen it every time. It's not scientific proof. It's more like, um, well, what would that proof kind of be called? Where you don't observe anything but that thing, but it's not like mathematically proven. We'd have to actually look at the yeah. source code. Or ask the guy who programmed it. <laughs> but, um, like, no proof to the contrary has ever been, has been given. Yeah, there, he, he says there was a restore the building feature in the works by adding a second type of bug that moved along the sidewalk quickly. Like oh, flying saucer and space invaders. Hitting that, that bug would have restored a slice of the building. That would have been cool. But then you're, the, you're changing the getting game. the patch would uh, take more points, that's all. <laughs> yes, it would. That's true. Makes it harder. That was a poor run there. A lot of these high score games, I find the key to it is getting all your points, like not messing up in the beginning as long as possible. And if yep. you are messing up, like give up. Like you're not going to make because it's too hard later on yeah, yeah. to do it. Yep. But you shouldn't give up <laughs> Cause it melts because it because it's the practice that is real. Ultimately, if you like, ultimately you have to get good at it. Yeah, at every level. Yeah, and so you it's just practice for those times when you do make it past the beginning. And that's a great run there. Oh, the green ones. Oh, I thought I would get that one. Yeah, me too. Oh no! Missed one. What was that? One of the many homes I lived in as a kid has a 2600 joystick in one of the walls thanks to Star Master. <laughs> I threw it because it broke and made me lose a game. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. And you threw it hard enough to enter the wall and not come out? Embed in the wall. <laughs> oh, that was almost a perfect green. Uh, 
No, Black Lens, you stay on the sidewalk. Cost you 200 points. Yep. Good one. That was a good one. Ah! My buttons! Right through the dr wow, that is a m mighty throw or mighty weak drywall. Ah, the green ones, especially when you don't have the height to, to get them there. But this is one of those games that it's it's got a level that you can go back to that is like ah the nice level again. I can relax for just a bit before the panic sets in. No, I'm wasting. Oh, good, I got them. Oh my god. Come on, bonus. I don't think I'm going to do it this time. Just too low. My building's too low. Unless something magical happens. Keystone capers, where the bonuses just get so pitiful that you're just inching up bit by bit to try and get enough points in each level, but the levels are just getting too hard, so you're just scraping by getting little tiny bits of points every level. And just how I got the Keystone capers patch is like doing really well on the early levels because that's the only time you can get the big points oh, getting on the ground there mmm green ones oh my god bye 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 building bye bye and green again what a joy Oh my god. That's it. That's it. My downfall. 36,000. Not even close. This is a game for another day. Some of the patch, le patch scores are so much easier than others. This one is not an easy one. Oh my god. Positioning, you have to be s not precise, but because you're moving so fast and you want to just drop it and go. If you miss that positioning, you're done. I'm not remembering that. It's the second window each time. Come on. Okay. There we go. Oh, the red ones. Oh, they go at angles. Oh, and you don't know which angle they're coming out at. That's... I'm done. Out of bugs. Out of wall, I think. Maybe there's one more. One more? Oh, one more wall. Maybe they'll be slow enough that I can progress and die on the next one. Nope. That is it. Got made it in time. See me die. Hmm... 41, 160, not my top. Don't bother recording it. Doesn't matter. Because <laughs> I got 50,000 one time. <laughs> I think this is possible for me to get the patch. I'm not going to declare it impossible because I got 50. I just have to be. I, I think an practice. additional 25,000 is further than from 50 than 
But you should remain hopeful. You'll never get there. Do it. Do it. <laughs> if you're pessimistic like me. <laughs> but there's a bunch of games now in the back backlog that I have not completed. <laughs> that I have not finished. Got the patch. But I've gotten a bunch of patches too. And if the just... patches were... If the patches didn't... If they just took general skill, yeah. then that would be a sign that they were perhaps too easy. Yes. Definitely. Like specific practice at a game... Uh, seems like sh it should be required. Yeah, like you have to figure out the strategy, not just just getting points, but like, oh, this is how you get those points. If um, you if you were just making a on a a a, uh, a virtual badge, but not a not something that gave you a um, an obligation like sending a badge or what have you. <laughs> yeah. Uh, then make having it, like bronze and bronze gold platinum and stuff like that would would oh yeah definitely make sense but uh, because then you know if you played it a little bit yeah you get bronze like you you played it enough and you got pretty decent at it then silver is like oh you're pretty good and gold is like yeah you are top top ranking like you put in your work you put in your time is this random no no it's not random it actually goes it's got some AI there might be just a recorded playthrough it c could be um it's probably takes up less space for the guy to just have it hover know it. how to do it yeah like he's acting really weird now oh no he is following it because look at the way he's moving in comparison to the, sp the type of spider that's coming out he's going like this on the on the back and forth spiders mm -hmm. and he's totally messing up this level because he's aiming for where they are yeah. not where they sh they will be yeah so it is yeah. he still made it though yeah yeah tiki dan k says ai yeah and he still made it or maybe automatically progresses um but amazing game the graphics are good great like the little guy the spiders the plants are amazing the window shades the bricks and the, the city in the background city really. in the background the little sewer they're coming out of mm -hmm. like the attention to detail is unbelievable and the the activision sunset um is is great um and having the bugs along the bottom how many bugs you have left and not just a number is is also good too I suppose I've always loved games that change the colors of time of day and weather conditions like Robot Tank and Enduro. Those are a lot. Yeah, those type of games are a lot of fun. I mean, this game may not make sense to go into dark and then the bug's eyes are the only thing lit up. Like you could do that, but it's it's a certain type of game that you want to do that on. Um, so that is it. We it's the first day back, so there's a lot to pack in as as per usual well thank you dan k for making that game uh 35 36 years ago <laughs> um i love i love playing uh the games that you make because they're awesome and i don't know are there patches for all of your games because i don't know did they give up making those patches after a while because i want to definitely get the patch in kung fu kung fu master but i don't i don't think there is a patch for the later games they just stopped stopped doing it after a while because the atari wasn't like a a big seller anymore once it gets got into the 90s and some of these are like uh kung fu master is 87 so it's mm. pretty pretty late late releases and dan made 2600 games up to 1989 which was uh 12 years after the system came out which is quite a long run yeah, yeah. Oh, they gave out patches shortly after the crash, which was what he yeah. only made this game before the crash, which was 1983, 84 mm -hmm. is the crash era, and Ghostbusters was 85, and I don't think there's a patch for Ghostbusters, so there's only one patch um, for Dan's game, so it's, it's probably the only game I'll be playing on the show of Dan's, unfortunately, because I'm not just playing general Atari games, because we're about the homebrew. Yeah, I thought yeah. this would be fun to just do. As throw in once in a while, once a week, play one game. And you can build up like a, a sash full of badges. Yeah, across there, or a jean jacket, as Tanya suggested. I get a, a, a sleeveless uh, jean jacket, put Atari across the back, or Activision, put it on. No, and would, put virtual patches on it. 
No, real patches. Oh, oh right, because you can them. buy them, right? Right. Yep. Yeah. Secondhand from people. Yep. Yeah. They are, some of these are not cheap patches. Yeah. Like, depending how hard the patch was to get, or how obscure the game was, like if people, people wanted to play the game or not. Uh, near the end of the development, uh, of development, the crash of 1983 was on the horizon. The market was slow, slowing quickly. Slowing quickly. That's a fun way to, <laughs> fun phrase. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Activision wanted me to finish up development quickly and get it to market as fast as possible. Well, obviously, this is an awesome game. And it doesn't even seem rushed. It's beautiful looking. Yeah. Unfortunately, I didn't have time to add the multi-bug features. Multi-bug? Like two at a time going up? No, oh, too hard. <laughs> Crazy craziness. Only if you got those potted plants back immediately would that work. Um, the only thing I wish Activision did was to bring Dreadnought Factor to the C64 or 2600 somehow. I don't know Dreadnought Factor. Oh, sounds like a very advanced game for 2600 if it's in the C64 era. Um, so thanks for hanging out with us, everybody. Uh, Mr. Fix, Tiki Dan K, I suppose to... Uh, let's see who else is Ground Trooper, S. Ramirez, two thousand eight. Uh, who else stuck around? Probably a lot of lurkers. I supposed to Carl G. R. C. Seventy. Nathan Strum. Mallard Games. Who I didn't say off the top of the show. Did I say Carl G. Yep. Blue Swimmer. This game we uh, game we played. Did we play Blue Swimmer's game? Yes. Yeah. That's right. Um. Repentless VG, and of course VHZC's game that we also played. Very awesome, excellent show, one hundred twenty percent. Oh, and Tiki Dan K says you'll be able to earn three patches for Gold Rush. I don't know if it's a bronze, silver, gold kind of situation, or I can't remember what it was. Um, also, it comes with a. They'd all be gold patches. Huh? <laughs> different one gold two gold three gold <laughs> um, just nugget sizes and and first one's gold uh, flake uh flake uh, then a gold uh what is that um leaf 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 yeah, but when you get flakes when you pan you yeah. get little so leaf flakes. flake and bar <laughs> coin <laughs> bar and yeah something else um in the kickstarter that he's going to do uh, you have one of them, you can get a railroad tie um, because the whole thing is uh, based on uh, around the railroad. Mm. Oh, they're not they're not based on gold or silver. Baggage man, conductor, and engineer. <laughs> Very cool. So when that comes out, that we will definitely be uh, trying to get all three patches. Good luck to us. <laughs> Don't make them too hard. Don't make them impossible. <laughs> and I still have to get my patch in uh astronomer too that's and it's only you have to only have to get 20 points seems easy but it is not it is not easy i think my high score is still 12. um so on the next episode uh on wednesday the next stream on the 28th we're going to be playing get it um three updates to games dragon's descent uh chaotic grill and Sokobu, possibly a fourth game, because Sokobu won't be a long game. Oh, Dreadnought Factor is on the television. I have never played it. I don't know if I have that game. Yes, and uh, Gold Rush, will, we will have a world exclusive. All right. On Tiki Dan K's, Dan Kitchen's, uh, Gold Rush, when it comes out. And I think it's coming soon, maybe. <laughs> Hopefully. I think he's getting close. Um, and then we will be doing the patch challenge for the game Sky Jinx on the 30th. I don't know what other games we'll be playing on that Friday. So that is it for now. Uh, thanks for hanging out with us for a very, very long time. I'm super hungry because um, I haven't had lunch. And it's 3 o'clock in the afternoon. It's almost dinner time. You're, you're eating your lunch. You're eating, eating your everything. Lunch. Yeah, I don't have much left. Don't have much left. You got enough. You got enough for lunch. Down to one forty-seven. <laughs> Two more. Two more to hit my goal. One forty-five. Trim. Doing a lot of running. Beating my beating my times in running. Doing well. Um. So we'll be back next Wednesday. 
at 11 a.m. with Airlens. So that's it for now. And you'll see this guy in two weeks. I two weeks. Think. Yes, we'll be back in two weeks. Um, thank you for everybody for tuning in. Thank you, uh, Dan K, for tuning in and making that game so long ago. That may that it's too hard for me to beat right now. But I will get it. I swear I will get every patch eventually of all the Activision games. Eventually. Eventually. <laughs> okay. Thanks. See everyone. Bye bye. See you next time. That I'm here. <laughs> <laughs> and I won't actually see you. No. Yeah, anyway. We'll see their names. That's close enough. Bye. Bye. Oh, we didn't go full screen. Let's do a full screen bye. Oh, uh, bye. Uh, yeah, full screen they, bye. Yeah, very important. Yeah. <laughs>